We should be good. All right. All right. <clears throat> you feeling good? You ready? Yep. All right. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the Storm Podcast, episode 216. I'm your host, Malcolm. I'm here with... Your boy, E-Man. You know what it is. What's good? What's good? Uh, C2 is not here today. So, I'm not going to give you guys the whole long backstory, but it is currently midnight where we are. Uh, We are recording right now at midnight. Uh, We pulled up earlier today. There was a lot of... Just, there was a lot. Yeah, a there lot was, of sounds and garbage going on. Yeah, there was construction going on, and then C2 wasn't able to stay because he had, uh, like, scheduling issues, and then we were supposed to pull up at midnight, and then C2 had another scheduling issue. So, it, we here, it's midnight, yeah. and we're going we gonna to get it done. Indeed, indeed. I, you know, the, the pod must go on. It has to happen one way or another, and... I think I think we can get it done. I, I feel fine, honestly. I don't, but I'll fake it till I make it. It's cool. I just got off work. I'm tired as hell. But you know, I mean, after this, you get to go to bed. Yeah. After this, I have to edit the podcast. Yeah, that does suck. And then I gotta wake up early in the morning because I have to go to my girlfriend's little sister soccer game, and yeah. then I have a 12 hour subathon. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think you're you're definitely the one catching the dub in the whole situation. I have it better than you, but I wouldn't call that catching a dub. I'm keeping a buck fifty with you. We potting. What you mean? Yeah. That's a dub. It's it's all right. It's Especially all right. if the numbers do good. Look, yeah. if we yo, if we did this pod at midnight and the numbers don't do good. I'm not doing it. Oh, I was about <laughs> to say and the numbers do do good. I was like, I'm not doing it again. I don't care. Oh, if the numbers do good, then like I'm glad we did it. If the numbers do bad, then bro, I could be in bed sleep right now. For real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. We I, but, I could be in bed sleep. So how you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling cool. How was feeling... your week more? That's more what I meant to ask. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, my week was pretty chill. I mean, I did work a lot this week, and that was uber mega huff. I hate working over there. That is the worst job ever. But I did, uh, that was actually today. Uh, one of my, I was about to say one of my friends, like it wasn't my brother, but my, uh, Matthew pulled up to Fridays okay. today. And I was just about to say, who pulls up to Fridays at 10 p.m. on a Friday? You know, we, like, make jokes about that at Fridays. Right. I don't think anybody at Fridays likes Fridays. Right. Like, nobody. It's not like I'm working there because the food is good. Right. But, yeah, so it's like nobody pulls up to Fridays. Nobody should pull up to Fridays anyway. Right. If you like Fridays, it's my bad dog. I don't know what to tell you. But nobody should be pulling up to Fridays anyway. The food is not good. Facts. But. If you're pulling up to Fridays at 11 p.m. to get a a, a whiskey burger, you're kind of wilding. Yeah, you're out of pocket. It sounds like stack. wild. It sounds like wild. It's it's not good. But I found out that my brother is one of those people. So you know, our brother, but okay, our brother is one of those people. Well, mm. I guess not anymore. Did he tip, was, did he tip well? No, he didn't pay. Yeah, he didn't pay. No, he dined and dashed. Yes. Don't incriminate him, but like yes and was, yes and no. Because if I'm being completely honest, Friday, Fridays isn't is it good? Like it's not good. There was an issue with the burger. It when it came out, there was like ant, an ant on it or a fruit fly or something like that. I don't know what. Uh huh. Like I, I wouldn't pay either. I I don't I wouldn't pay yeah, if I, I'm being I, honest. I, I personally I wouldn't really pay. But the manager came out. It was the not the best manager so she was doing the most so i think i don't think he paid if i'm being honest i don't think he paid which huh. i think it's fair honestly yeah, it's very i'm not fair. i'm not paying if i find bugs in my food that's not the wave yeah it's fair but that's fair yeah my manager was doing the most but i think he was in the complete right if i'm being honest huh well i guess it'd be like that it'd be yeah like that. yeah uh if you eat at friday's don't come to the one where I am because it sucks. We'll keep it a butt. That's fair. That's fair. Um, my week has been pretty cool. Uh, did a lot of streaming on Twitch this week. Streaming was very fun. I have a subathon happening tomorrow on Twitch. I'm very excited. By the time you guys are listening to this, it would have already happened. Yeah. And hopefully you pulled up. And if you didn't make it, I'm sorry. You, you missed suck. out on a great time, bro. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we did hot sauce. We did. You did hot sauce? 
Oh, you like eight hot sauce. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking uh, like in the past because yeah. they're listening in the past, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so me and the homies ate some some very like Carolina Reaper hot sauce. Um, Took an ice bath. Uh, in, in like a, in a butt? Like, how do you take an ice bath? Like in your room? In a tote. In a tote? Oh, like a... I bought a a fifty gallon tote. Oh, I thought you meant like a what well, like a grocery bag, and I was like, that's stupid as hell. Like, no, that's insane. Nah. In a fifty gallon, I bought a fifty gallon t- uh, tote. So I'm gonna do an ice bath in that if we get to enough of enough subs, which I'm confident we will. I got a very supportive gang. Um, facts, facts, facts. Maybe I might have to eat a spoonful of craft. That's not that bad, bro. It is though. That's not that bad. Nah, dog. A spoonful of craft for any amount of money is nothing, bro. That is nothing. Nah. I would eat a spoonful of craft off some off the muscle. Like would I enjoy it? No. But like off the muscle. If you was like, I bet you won't, sh- sure. <laughs> you'd be right that's <laughs> you bet i won't you'd be correct that's so man lame. fuck some craft i'm not you doing better that. do like a whole bowl get one of like the the personal that's what i got oh it's like a personal cup yeah oh you're gonna you should do the whole thing fuck no that's so huff fuck no how are you only gonna eat a spoonful of eat craft? a spoonful of crap what you mean that's so whack i drowned it in the the carolina reaper sauce you would rather eat Hot sauce than a spoonful of mac and cheese. One thousand percent. That's yeah. not mac and cheese. It, I would too. Yeah, if I'm not, being honest, I probably would too. But yeah. it's not that bad. Disgusting. Nah, it's not that bad. Nah, I will pass on that. Um, but yeah, no, nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a really fun time. It's gonna be a fun time. I'm very excited. Mm. We're gonna do some drafts. Um, just like basically any anime draft or cartoon draft. You don't really got nothing planned yet. I think we're gonna do restaurant chains. Did y'all already do that? That was before I had any followers. Oh, yeah. So I did that when I had like 60 followers on Twitch. Yeah, I guess that's fair. And now I'm at, I, dude, last I checked, I'm at like 700 something. Dang, that's just kind of fire. Bro, I don't even know how that happened. Like, I mean, I guess off the TikTok lives and stuff, you get like, but a couple I wasn't every expecting day. 700. I don't know. That was just, I don't know. That was shocking. So thank you guys. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's been it's been a pretty cool week creator wise. Podcast numbers have been going crazy. Thank you guys very much. It's been cool, man. It's been cool. I also saw the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie this week. It oh, you saw like a pre showing or something like that because I don't think it's out yet for real. It is out. It like I, I saw it at Lake Theater. I thought it came out in like two days. No, I thought it came out on what? What is it right now? Today is May fifth, Cinco de Mayo. I thought it dropped on the eighth. No. I saw it yesterday. I checked yesterday too, and it it didn't say it was. It said that it dropped like May eighth or something like that. It's not correct because I saw it yesterday, and I didn't get no private screening. Like I went, bought a ticket, and saw it at like theater. That's some bull. I was actually planning on seeing it yesterday, and I was like, oh, I guess it's not out yet. Spoiler free review. I'm gonna give like a quick spoiler free review on the Guardians movie. First Guardian movie, very good. You know what I'm saying? I I'm not a it. big Guardians fan, but it was a decent movie. I enjoyed the first Guardians movie a lot. Second Guardians movie, trash. I'm yeah. not going to lie to you. Yeah, that that's shit, fair. That shit not was a like good garbage. movie. It was kind of garbage. Yeah. The third Guardians movie? Super trash. Marvel is back, bro. Oh, really? We're back. See, look, Thor Love and Thunder. I don't think I don't think so. You're No, you ain't seen it yet. Thor Love and Thunder did too much with the comedy. Trash. They took the comedy they to a new level. It. They didn't get no seriousness in there. No. And then we got Quantumania. They gave us a lot of comedy. It wasn't well timed. Comedy. The story didn't matter. And they tried. They tried. Oh, like, I don't think about they tried at Quantumania comedy. as comedy at all. Well, they tried, you know. Guardians did it perfectly. They mixed the darkness. With the comedy, they gave a story. We gave a fuck about every character they showed us. It was literally perfect, bro. Mm. I'm, if I had to rate that movie, that movie is like a 9, 9.5 out of 10. That shit was really good. What's Wakanda Forever? About the same. What? Yeah. They're the same. I. They're about the same. I don't know if I could trust that. They're about the same. I'm gonna be. Honest I don't with trust you. that for nothing. You haven't seen this movie yet. 
I was a big fan of Wakanda Forever. And I don't want to overhype it for you. Like you're you won't. Trust me. You you never will. <laughs> but I'm I'm I was a huge fan of Wakanda Forever. That might be like my second favorite, maybe third favorite Marvel movie. So Mm-mm. hold on. Give me your top three. Top three Marvel movies, go. Top top three MCU movies, go. Black Panther. Original. Yeah. Okay. That's number one. Yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah, all day. Civil War. Okay. Wakanda Forever. So just any time that Black Panther's on the screen... Basically. ...is turned. <laughs> Basically, yes. Okay. That um, is that is a super valid list, and everyone knows it. Okay. I mean, I'll let that list rock. That list is fire. Civil War could be number one, if I'm being honest. But Spider-Man and Black Panther in the same movie, yes. Okay, I'll let it rock. I'm going to give you mine. One, give me Infinity War. Okay. Let me take that back. Let, I I'm tweet. down for that. No, no, I misspoke. I misspoke. One, give me Civil War. Okay. Two, give me Infinity War. Valid. Here's where it starts to get a little dicey. Because there's a lot of movies that could take that three spot. I don't think so. But I'm going to say three... Mm, I'm gonna give three to Iron Man one. One? Iron Man two. That's better. Iron Man two. That's better. Yeah. I was gonna say Iron Man one might be my least favorite. I was gonna say Iron Man one because of what it means. Yeah. But if I'm thinking about which movie I genuinely think is better. Two, three, one. I think two. And if I'm keeping it a stack. Iron Man two, Iron Man three, Iron Man one. Huh? Yeah. Two, three, one. Yes. People are not going to agree with that. I know. People I do know. not enjoy Iron Man 3. I which know that. I think is bugging. I actually genuinely enjoy that movie a lot. I went back and watched it recently. It's a really fucking good movie. It might be a really good movie. I saw it when I was a little bit younger. And it was a bunch of Iron Man suits flying through the sky. It was fire. Like, when was the last time you watched it? A while ago. Uh... That might be, like, one of the lesser-watched Marvel movies for me. Okay. Like, the only time I might watch that is when I watch the entire MCU. Oh, see, so my girlfriend's stepdad was watching through the MCU in order last summer. So I watched a lot of them with him. And Iron Man 3, I remember liking it when I saw it as a kid, right? Mm. And then I remember hearing everybody hate on it. So I was like, oh. Which I get. I do get. Because the villain, not. Not how it should have been. So. So what? It's not how it should have been. So what? That's. It was a bad villain. I don't don't care about so what. That was a bad villain. It wasn't who it was supposed to be. But it also just wasn't a good villain. The Mandarin did not. I don't think the Mandarin played his part well. No. Aldrin. uh, Kit. Kill Rich something? Kill, kill, kill Rich. No, it's Adrian. Adrian? It's Aldrin. Aldrin. Yeah, right. Aldrin. Kill Rich. Kill Rich. Yeah. That's not it, though. It's something like that. It's not Kill Rich. It's like three syllables. It's Kill a Witch. It's something like, something like that. There's yeah. three syllables in his name, bro. Yeah. I was not the biggest fan of Aldrin. Killian? I Aldrin Killian? That feels like too many ends. What is that nigga's name? Andy? No, it's not Andy. Aldrich Killian. Aldrich Killian. I knew it was Aldrich. That's an odd name. Aldrich I would, Killian. I wouldn't have expected. Yeah, you backed me up off of it because I was yeah, like, Aldrich, a, you were like, no, that's Aldrich. a goofy name. My Aldrich bad if Killian. your name is Aldrich. Yeah. But, Aldrich yeah. Killian. Yeah, that's that's not it. But I would have I would have rather... Mm, no, that's not true at all. I was going to say I would have rather see the Shang-Chi Mandarin in there, but no. That wouldn't make no sense. Yeah, no. That's yeah, why I was, he had no was business like, no. with Iron Man. Yeah, that's why I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, he, nah. He's the real Mandarin, but no. It, yeah, it just he had no business with, with Iron Man. Yeah. Shang-Chi is really good, too, though. It is. That's an underrated movie. I watched that back recently, maybe like uh, two months ago. I don't know about underrated. It's a pretty highly rated movie. People really like Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi? Oh, uh, yeah, I switched because I wasn't like, I don't know which one it is. But, yeah. Yeah, Shang-Chi feel a little racist. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But I was like, that's how it's spelled. So I was like, It is know. how it's spelled. So I, that's how I used to pronounce it. That's how I he said it, it in the movie. No, he said Shang-Chi. 
Yeah, that's why. Yeah, he said Shang Chi in the movie. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, because his I don't name know why was Sean. Yeah, and it was at like I'm yeah, Sean. We've had oh, this Sean. conversation before. I don't think so. We definitely have on the pod on recording. Doubt it. Positive. Okay. I don't remember when, but I'm positive we've had this guy because it was the other way around. Because you tried to call me racist. <laughs> yeah. For saying Sean. For saying Shang. I said Shang Chi. Yeah, no, that's for a- say, I said Shang Chi. And, and you I said, said you racist. I said you're racist. Yeah. For saying Sean. Yeah. Why? Because I, I thought it was Shang Chi, and I was like, no, it's Shang. And then you were like, and I was like, God, oh, because remember in the movie his name was, and I explained it. And you were like, oh yeah. I remember that quite vividly. I wish C two was here because I'm pretty sure he remembers it too. Well, but yeah, yeah, I nah. fumbled that time. But Guardians of the Galaxy was really good. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was really good. I'm not gonna get my hopes up for it because I'm not. A, I'm just not a Guardians fan in general. I don't hate it. I have no problem with it. But out of all of Marvel, like all the Marvel like segments or groups, I guess mm-hmm. Guardians are like the lowest of them. Who has the best trilogy in the MCU? Um. I want to give it to Spider-Man. I don't think there was a bad Spider-Man movie. You're wrong. Two? Far From Home is not a good movie. It's not a bad movie. Far From Home is not a... If it's not a good movie. It's not a bad movie. It's, it's a, not it's a good a, one. It's a good movie. You're is wrong. It, is it No Way Home? No. Is it Homecoming? No. But it's a good movie. No Way Home isn't even fantastic. No Way Home... Yes, it is. I don't care. No yes, Way Home is all spectacle. And who cares? The spectacles were fire. It's a movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, but you need substance. And there was. There's no substance in No Way. There was substance. Okay, there is substance. There's uh, a decent amount no of Saying no substance is crazy. There is a yeah, decent amount there- of substance. As much as other MCU movies, like, does it tie into the whole MCU verse? Nah, really? But I'm cool with that. That's perfectly fine with me. It's carried by spectacle. That's fine. Like, what, if I am watching, if I'm watching anything, spectacle is a large part of it. Like, <laughs> yes. That's like 90% of it. Um, no. okay, maybe not 90, but no. a large portion of it. Now, the story is more important than the spectacle for sure. Not by much. I'm gonna keep it real. Not by much. I'm about to catch you lacking right here. How much spectacle is in the pod? Not none, really. And how much substance is there? That's completely different. What you mean? This isn't... That's why y'all watching it, right? Right, listeners? No. I don't think that's why they're watching it, because some people are listening to it. They don't care about the spectacle. Exactly. Like, it's the, not... The substance is what matters. But the podcast isn't a... It's not a movie. I'm watching a movie Might for as well my be. eyes. should be long as hell. I'm watching a movie for my eyes. I'm not about to watch a movie with my eyes closed. I could watch the but pod you're gonna watch with it, my eyes But you're going to watch it with your brain on. Yes. You don't need your brain on for some of the new MCU movies. It's all spectacle. No real substance. And sometimes that is okay. Far from home. No way home being an exception. The spectacle I, was enough to overpower the still decent-ish story. I think if I had to say who has the best trilogy in the MCU... It's Iron Man. It's up there. It's Iron Man. Probably number two. Number two. I think Iron Man, the Iron Man trilogy, fire. I don't like the first Cap. Ooh, no. Nah, Captain wait. America was. The first one was okay. I don't like the first Everything one. Everything else, much. quite good. I went back and watched Winter Soldier. Pretty good, bro. Uh, Winter Soldier. Good movie. Fucking good. Good movie. I was shocked by how good Winter Soldier was. It's a very good movie. Yeah. And then Civil War is just amazing. That's not a Captain America movie. But it is. But it is. What's not Captain America about it? He's barely the main... Like, that's an Avengers movie. But it's not, though. That's Avengers Civil War. is going against each other. That movie is called... It should be called Avengers Civil War, not Captain America Civil War. I was with you. Like, back in the day, because I was like, this is Avengers Alliance, the movie. And then I was like, it has to do with, it's, it's surround, it's all surrounding Bucky and Cap. What about Tony? Tony has a huge part in that movie. Mm, It's like equal parts. Mm, Not even equal. What you mean? That movie is literally, it's basically split down the middle 
of importance to the story of Iron Man and Captain America. The only reason it's a Captain America movie is because the camera panned on him at the beginning of the movie and panned on him at the end. Other than that, that is that's Avengers Civil War. Not First Captain off, America Civil War. This my this isn't a hot take. Iron Man's team was just should have flooded them. Like Oh, in terms of strength? Bro, should have flooded them. They should have got whooped. In Scarlet terms of Witch st- was not based yet. Yes, she was. No. She wasn't even the Scarlet Witch. She was just Wanda. Do you remember how that movie started? Yeah, she killed everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I have the Mind Stone on my team. Right, but... Yeah, okay, yes. Like... I mean, look, they had... Let's Let's look at the teams. Vision... Whooping just about everybody. Bloodthirsty Black Panther. Could have killed any human on that team. Iron Man and War Machine. Just about better than any mechanical part like Ant-Man or anybody else on that team. Spidey. Fucking up everybody. I guess Natasha. If I'm keeping it a buck, got diet down like crazy. When he got that thing pushed on him, drop it. Come on, bro. (laughs) Yeah. You could have dropped that. Yeah. You could have threw it in the air. Like, you're Spider-Man, bro. I mean, that's facts. Natasha wasn't really making no noise for real. She wasn't, but I could, I could have seen it. Yeah. When we looking at the other team, they had Ant-Man, Hawkeye, nothing, Falcon, really not doing nothing <laughs> against Iron Man and Rhodey, Bucky, what the f- metal arm boy. <laughs> Cap, I guess <laughs> he lesser Black Panther. Yeah, like the Wanda. I have a vibranium suit. You have a vibranium circle, but Wanda, Vision, <laughs> like you can't touch him. <laughs> like if this is the thing that like pisses me off about teams, and we could debate this. A lot of teams are as strong as their strongest player. If Vision would have wiped out Cap. And then wiped out Winter <laughs> Soldier. And then wiped out Falcon. But the goal wasn't to kill them. It was to arrest them. I have a laser beam. Like... What do you... Kill... You... you a laser beam is for killing. I... He's basically like the fly. I could put my arm in you and just like... That's stop. gonna kill you. But stop, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> come on. But they know he's not gonna do that. Because that's not <laughs> what Vision is made for. I don't know. Vision is there to protect human life. Hey... Is accidents happen? That's my. You saw Rhodey. He he flew down. But stop, bro, is Yo. crazy. <laughs> Hand in the chest. Stop, bro, stop. is insane. <laughs> we we are signing this accord <laughs> right now. Stop. Over with. I mean, Iron Man's team was stronger. Honestly, I kind of also agreed with Iron Man a little bit too. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You wait. You said a little bit. Iron Man was right. Well, I also I can see the other side. I kind of don't. <laughs> well, if you take a nuke and throw it into a building, you need to be stopped. You need to at least <laughs> you at least need some supervision. What? Yes, but you also got to think of like they are nukes. They're just putting nukes in the government more nukes in the government's hand. We have a little bit more supervision. It's more than a little bit more. They were basic. They were kind of like police to an extent. We we might need to. We we threw a bomb in a lot in a building. Like no no no. Like, in, like trust me, I get that aspect of it. And that was the last. We also almost dropped the planet on everybody. We blew it up. Ooh, <laughs> rocks still falling on people. <laughs> like a lot of people died. Yeah, like they they needed to. They needed to. And like I agree with that. But, like, I see Cap's side, but his side is a very once, like, he's only looking from his perspective. Because, yeah. like, look at it from a government perspective or just, like, a human perspective, right? If a cop was just like, hey, bro, fuck with the law is telling me I'm taking this shit into my own hands. Wild. I'd be like, mm-hmm. wild. Like, and now imagine this cop has super serum <laughs> and a vibranium shield. Yeah. <laughs> we need to chill out. I mean, I get like, it. I, I get it, but I also, 
Tony was looking big picture. Cap was looking only at himself. Big picture wins. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not Iron saying. Iron Man was right. <laughs> I'm not disagreeing. I agree that like, Iron Man was right. But I so understand right. the other side too. I don't. Like, I don't, I don't under, I can say that I get what he was trying to do, but that means nothing. <laughs> like, I was trying to kill him. That don't make it good. Like, you right, know? But, okay, but like, look at it from Cap's perspective, right? So, from Tony's perspective, or just the public's perspective, it's like, yo, these dudes have power, and they're using their power to do what they believe is right. Yes. If they what they believe is right goes against what we think is right, that could be dangerous. Yes. Right? Cap's perspective is, I know that I'm good, and I don't know that the government is good. So I'm going to go with what I know. I'm going to go with what I know when the people I'm trying to save are saying <laughs> no. I know. Don't do that. I know. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I need to save my best friend. <laughs> and Tony's like, they don't want this. <laughs> We're trying to save them. How about we hear them out? I and mean, he's like, nope. Bucky, my friend. You sound dumb. I mean, look, <laughs> like, I, I agree with you. I like, agree with you. I'm just saying I see both sides of the coin. Nah, Cap was absolutely wild. And not only was he like... Bucky's my friend. This man is a terrorist. <laughs> like, yeah, he's Tony inter- was. He's an international terrorist. Yeah, but Tony's like, I get that that's your friend. First off, I thought we was gang. So, <laughs> so I understand why Tony is hurt. <laughs> right. He's like, but he's my friend. He's like, I thought I was too. <laughs> I get it. I'd be hurt too. I get it. But not only that, but y'all are beating my ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, Jumping him was crazy. That's crazy. Jumping him was insane. Just because I'm trying to save the public. Yeah. And you're trying to save your homie. I mean, jumping him was insane. That I, look, is I'm never wild. here to defend Captain America. <laughs> I'm just saying that I see both sides of the coin. I, I see both sides. Just because I see the both sides. I don't mean that Iron Man was right. <laughs> they needed to be policed. I mean, that's fair. Um, question I got asked on TikTok this week. Teen Titans or Young Justice, what's better? Just like in show? Yeah. Young Justice. Over Teen Titans? Yeah. yeah I say the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you all caught up on Young Justice? No, but I've gotten far. I think I stopped Outsiders? I haven't gotten to Phantom or whatever. But I've, I've seen stuff on Phantom, and I've seen that it gets a lot better. Hey, bro. Phantoms is different. Yeah, I definitely got to catch up. If I had to rank the seasons of Young Justice, season two is obviously number one. It's too fantastic. That's Phantom? No, season two is uh The Reach. Just, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like with all like the Blue Beetle and yeah, stuff like Yeah, I think like it's that. called Green Invasion, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think that's Invasion. Yeah, season two has got to be the best season, easily. Yeah, I could see that. Then I'm going to go... Season four. Fair. Season one. Season three. Season three was... Outsiders. Outsiders. Season three was when I, like, kind of stopped watching. Oh, you're asleep. So... Uh, you need to wake up. Not not because it was bad. I just stopped watching. But if it couldn't hold my full attention, like, season one... Yeah, you're asleep. Season one was gas. Season three was very good. It just is the weakest one. But it's still very good. I I could get it. Like I don't think there's a bad season of Young Justice, but it, that one definitely held my attention the least. No, season see, one was amazing. Season two, season two better. was some next level shit. Yeah, season two was next level. I kind of liked the OG gang though, just because it was the OG gang. Season two had the OG gang. It was just everywhere. Yeah, but it wasn't, it didn't feel the and same. And then they added new people, you know what I'm saying? They got new people on the team. They had Blue Beetle. They had. Blue Beetle was cool. Uh, they had Lagan Boy, and I, I. I, I hate. I hated Lagan yeah, Boy. Le- I, yeah. Lagan Boy was the worst. Not a fan. Uh, Impulse. Oh shit. Impulse was really cool. Yeah. Tim Drake. Always makes me sick that Kid Flash got smoked, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but they had Tim Drake. Beast Boy. 
Beast Boy, always really cool. Beast uh, Boy was super dope. Yo, I kind of like Wonder Girl. Wonder Girl was kind of cool. A game. Beast Boy in season four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Dang. Beast Boy in season four. I get it. I get it. Man. Yeah, I definitely got to watch season four. It seems like it starts touching on some crazy topics. Beast Boy was different season four. That's all I got to say. Who's the best uh, Young Justice member, I guess? Oh, my favorite person in, like, the entire Young yeah, Justice? Like, like, entire thing. Oh, that's a tough question, bro. If my favorite character in Young Justice is probably... Fuck. I want to say Cal Durham. I knew it. But I think it's Superboy. I was thinking one or the other, but... I think it's Superboy. I think I Superboy go. really grew up and became a true, like... He is a leader in his own sense. Like, he leads the way that he wants to lead, and he does a really good job. He really mellowed out. Yeah. Like, the fact that he his moral compass became so strong, and he wasn't willing to, like, waver on that shit. Even after Magan was tripping. Even after everything that happened. Like, he's a very solid rock, and he's been through a lot. But he's still ten toes for the gang. I, I think I gotta say Superboy. Yeah. If there's any other ten toes person, it gotta be Aqualad. Yeah, I That's, think I think Calderam is probably my second favorite. Yeah, like always been ten toes for the gang. Mission come first. You know how it is. The goat. I think season one, my favorite was Calderam, but from season two on, I think Superboy. Is... I think season one and two, it was Cal, and then when after I saw Superboy mature into like a real true superhero because season one he was still trying to figure out who he was bro was a year old you know what i'm saying like he was trying to figure out who he was he was angry he was just learning you know yeah then season two he really became a real superhero and i was like i fucks with bro i respect him he that was more like a a coming of age you dig yeah cal was already there and he was the leader he did what he had to do and like I just I just gotta respect it. I gotta put respect on his name. Yeah. I'm he with was that. the GOAT. I'm with that. Yeah, I think mm, I ain't gonna lie, Dick is up there too. I wish I would have said his full name. Yeah. I wish I would have said his full name. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, somebody's gonna better. clip that. For sure. Yeah. You know, you know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> but he is cool. Robin is dope. I don't know yeah. why you didn't just say Robin right there. Because there's there, a lot. There's Four Robins, bro. Yeah. You got to say which one. Well, no, Damien isn't in They're Young They're not in Young Justice. He's not in Young Justice, yeah. which sucks. So there's three Robins. The Teen Titans movies are fire, though. Actually, wait. I think it's just I know Tim Drake Tim and Drake Dick was Grayson. There. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't seen Jason in Young Justice, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. Was it Tim that died or was it Jason that died? In Young Justice? Yeah. I do not remember. <laughs> one of them died. Oh, Dang, I do not remember that. In season one or two? I think season three. Oh, okay. That makes sense though. Yeah. Uh-oh. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. But uh he's up there. I did I liked him season one. He was annoying, but he was cool. Yeah. I nah, he was I liked that though. The, that the was whelmed. He was whelmed. Yeah, he was very whelming. Yeah. Yeah, he was he was a chill person. Yeah, no, nah, that shit go crazy. That I I really like Young Justice. <laughs> That's a fantastic show. Teen Titans is good too, but it can't hold a ti- uh, like a candle to Young Justice. The Teen Titans, like the new movies, I kind of like just because I like Damien, and Damien is the goat. I don't know if I've watched all of them. I watched Batman and Son, which was the first one I think. I watched that one, and then after that, I think it was the Teen Titans one. I watched that one. That's the one with Blue Beetle and yeah, yeah, I watched that one. Yeah, that, that was one. Teen Titans versus Justice League, I think. That's the one where they defeat Trigon? Was it, was it Trigon? For some reason, I'm thinking Dark Side. It might have been Trigon. Th- that was the one where yeah, they trapped yeah. Trigon in her forehead. Yeah, that was Trigon. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I and watched that one. Then there was another one that I watched. No, no, no. That was the... F- I feel like they went against Mr. Freeze in one of them. I might not have seen that then. But I don't know. But I've definitely seen the first two. 
and Damien is just the best Robin. Like I like how he's angsty. He's always been the best Robin. Rank the Robins. Go. So we're doing Damien, Jason, and the four Robins. Okay, because I know there was that one like Stephanie something. Never and... heard of her. Okay. Number one, Damien. Incorrect. Keep going. Crazy. Uh, number two, man, I do really like, mm, I don't like Jason Robin. I will go Dick Grayson. Okay. And then I'll go Jason and then I'll go Tim. Man, that's hard. Cause I gotta go. So we're only rating the Robins. Nah, you just, I kind of, when I did my rating, I kind of went for the whole, you did. Okay. Well then Damien still bugging, but okay. Damien. Red Hood. Red Hood is the goat. You're bugging. I love Red Hood. You're bugging. Red Hood is one of my favorite DC characters. The fact that... Keep going. So, Damien, Red Hood, then uh, Dick Grayson, and then Tim Drake. That's insane. The fact that Nightwing isn't... It, that he's third? Damien is the goat. Damien is the son of... Of the head of the League of Shadows. I'm going to give you the proper list, okay? The proper list is Dick Grayson. Crazy. Damian Wayne, Tim Drake, Jason Todd. I can guarantee you just about everybody's favorite Robin is Damian Wayne. You just lost. He is the no, son no, 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 of no, no, the no, no, head no, no. of the you League. You lost. Bro. Niggas aren't, nobody agrees with that. Everyone likes Damien. Nobody agrees with that. Everyone likes Damien. No. He has the most skill. He's... No. Okay, maybe not the most skill. What are you talking about? The, nah, the more he matures, he probably has the most skill. He's but the best fighter. By the time... Yeah, yeah. He has the most... He's the he's best, the best fighter. Yeah. That doesn't make you... Ha- that doesn't mean you have the most skill. He's the best. He's the best fighter. He's the angstiest. Okay. Even more than Tim Dr- even more than Jason Todd. Okay. He's Why is that, that a stat? Because he's that boy. All right, bro. He that boy. All right, bro. Wrap he uses up. a sword. I don't want to hear nothing. Don't nobody care about them little screamer sticks that freaking... That shit hard. Nah. And then he link them into the bow staff? That's not as cool as oh, the you're sword. you're tweaking. And then he clink. Not, not the way, not the way Damien uses the sword. Oh, yeah. What about the blick? Trash. That boy Jason. As much as I like him, bah, I wish he had more bah, sauce. Bah. He just be. Yeah, he's he's just, just a gunman. Yeah, he just blick niggas down. But I get it. He did get his ass beat by Joker. So, you know, you gotta. He did not get his ass beat. He got killed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a whole yeah. different you dig. Yeah. That's completely beat. different. He got killed and then had to get thrown in the Lazarus pit. And he was just never the same after that, which has to suck. I mean, he seems pretty happy about it. Ain't no, that, he don't. Really. Yeah, nah. <laughs> he's traumatized. But he's alive. He hates that. <laughs> yeah, he does. He doesn't want to be alive. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, he talks about that all the time. He hates that. I'd but, be kind of upset if I died and then I was brought back to life. No, I wouldn't. I'd be so grateful if if it was if it was Lazarus Pit. Like, are you talking Lazarus Pit? Nah, like here's the thing, right? If I'm dying. And I get saved, I'm, I'm lit. Yeah. If I'm dead, like I'm out of here, GG, game over. No, I then just, it's over with. It's oh, GG's. Bring me back. Don't bring me back. Bring me back. No, I'm done. Once I'm done, I'm done. But why do that if I could just come back? That's like microwave and fries. Not really. It's cooked. It's our, it's cooked, bro. Don't microwave fries. It's up. But if, see, the thing is, I lived my entire life not knowing I could come back. And now I know I can. I'm finna turn up round two. No, bro. I, first off, you're not getting another one. What you mean? Like, what? I died and now I'm back. We got another life. I know, but it's not like if you die again, you come back again. It ain't Bring no, me, no. Throw me in a Lazarus pit. No, no, no. If I die, I'm done. It's nah, GG's. It's, let me rock. As long as my body ain't like severed up, throw me back in the Lazarus pit. Round three. No, nah, we done. lit. I'm done. If I die, leave me dead. Nah, I'm gonna turn up. If I'm dying, you better do everything in your power to keep me in this bitch. But once I, 
GG, tap out. Don't put me back in there, bitch. Nah, that seems kind of fun because then I just get another round. Like, it's almost like I lived my life and now I'm just a whole new person and I could just turn up. No, that's not what it's like. It is. No, it's like your fries got cold and you threw them bitches in the microwave and that ain't even worse. I'm worse. But like, I kind of already lived my life. And now I almost just like, no, you didn't eat all your fries. I didn't eat. If you lived your life, you ate all your fries. But that's like, that's like eating half a pizza. Like I did kind of have my meal. Now I just have another one left over. <laughs> no. Yeah. What? Like I lived a full life. That's just, my half a pizza. Because, that's a meal. Just because you only ate half your meal don't make it two meals now. That makes it two halves, nigga. But I'm full. I'm fulfilled with this half a pizza. I lived my whole life. No, no, but you're not fulfilled with half a pizza. You don't eat half a pizza and think I'm kind of full. Like, oh, an entire pizza? Yeah. No, okay, that's different. A whole pizza isn't a meal. Half is. Oh, okay. So yeah, then, so I just lived the whole life. So and now then, I got another No, one. so that's like eating two slices of pizza and being like, oh, okay. Like, I'm full. I don't know. I feel like after you get that second, that second wind, it's like, it's like a new life. It's not a second wind, bro. That's just the other half of your first wind. I don't know. You didn't get a new thing of fries. You just didn't finish the first fries. And now they're reheated in ass. But take Jason Todd, for example. He the worst example. He went, he did go through his like fries stage, you know, like. Nigga, that nigga died at what, like 16? Yeah, but like. He did not finish. But then he came back a little bit worse. But then he improved. And now we a little bit okay here. <laughs> yeah, nah. Don't microwave your fries and don't bring me back from the dead. Throw me in the Lazarus pit. Yeah, I'm done. If you see my body laying down and you got a Lazarus pit nearby, throw me in and see what happens. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I right, I'll pass on that. Rache um, did it twenty thousand times. He seemed he he cool. Why'd you pronounce it like that? Rache al Ghul? Raz al Ghul. Rache al Ghul. Where's the H? It's Raish. That's how you pronounce it. It's R A S. It's Raish Al Ghul. It's Raz Al Ghul. How they say it in Arrow? They just be saying bullshit. That's, that Al-Ghul. whole season was bullshit. It's Raish Al Ghul. His name is Raz Al Ghul. That his name is Raish. It might even be a Z. Nah, it's a S. But it's it's pronounced Raish. If you look up the pronunciation, it's R A apostrophe S. Raish. Raz is is Raish Al Ghul. No, no, Ra is the nigga. He is Al Ghul, and he belongs to Ra. He's Raz Al Ghul. What? I don't know. I was, I was like, <laughs> we talking about the sun, Egyptian sun god? No, I'm just, like I'm just what? He's but Raz Al Ghul. I'm pretty sure it's it's pronounced many different ways, but I'm pretty sure a good amount of people. Call him Raish Al Ghul, or I'm, just I'm the head of the demon. Look it up. Uh, head of the demon is a fire name. That is like what I strive to be. What? That, that's that's <laughs> the new nickname. What? That's the new nickname. Head of the demon. That's just a gas name. As a League of Assassins leader, crazy. Uh oh, people say it both ways. Caped Crusader is a terrible name. That's fire. You're, you're bugging. Caped Crusader as like Batman. That's hard. But it's not like Dark Knight, you know? That gives you Batman vibes. Caped Crusader makes me feel like Superman. Superman's not a Crusader. But that's like, I don't know. That that make me feel like I guess Moon Knight is kind of close. But I don't know. It don't give out the dark vibe. Dark Knight? Batman that's perfect. wasn't even supposed to be like that. He wasn't supposed to be dark Batman? Yeah, no. Have you seen what original Batman was like? What? He's supposed to be dark. He's Batman. No. How many bats you see butterflies? Like no. Nah, he Batman dark. wasn't like what he's like now. Oh, are you talking about like the uh I forgot his name, the Adam West version and something like that? Just like the original Batman was like a like a like Mermaid Man. Yeah, he was like all cartoon. Yeah, he was Mermaid Man. man. 
I guess, yeah, he wasn't supposed to be like that, but he, he blossomed. He went up. He had a glow up. Depending on who you ask. Not, I really doubt, I think his name was Adam West. I don't think more people would prefer the Adam West version. Okay, no, of course not. He glow up. Depends on who you ask. Not many people are gonna. I don't like current Batman. You're wildin'. Current Batman is... Mm. OP. No, current Batman is gas. Current Batman is gas. Disagree. How is he not? He's too strong. Are we we talking about comic book Batman? I'm talking about all Batmans, bro. Well, the the newest movie one. He he just a chill Batman. Okay, n- not that one. That's that's what I'm. I said the most recent Batman. Okay, all the other ones. All the other ones were cool except for uh the one that went against Superman in one. That's the only one that's out of pocket. Yeah, yeah. No. I agree with you on that one. Uh. Dark Knight Rises, that one, Ben, not, not Ben Affleck. Christian Bale, great Batman. Uh, Pattinson, great Batman. The one that went against Superman. That just shouldn't have happened. Ben Affleck. Yeah, Ben Affleck, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, but you ready to talk about new anime? Yeah. Well, we don't have yeah. to talk about the new shit. We could just talk about some, I, there was some, a question I had, I wanted to ask you. First, or not a question I wanted to ask you, but something that I wanted to expound upon. Okay. You said last week that Blue Lock is better than Haikyuu. Yeah. I think it has the most, a lot of potential. Okay. I'd be very surprised if they disappointed me next season. Right. That's what I wanted to talk, talk to you about. We don't rank anime based off potential. That's true. That's ridiculous. That's true. Like, you can talk about it based on, but you can't rank it based on potential. Because if we did, Seven Deadly Sins would be one of the greats. Fucking Promise Neverland would be one of the greats. You can't rank an anime off potential. And I don't know why I let you rock that. Like, I don't know why I let you get that off last week. I guess that's fair, but I feel like we can agree that Blue Lock has a lot of potential. But we don't rank anime off potential. It it does have a lot of potential, but that shouldn't go into your ranking of the anime. You shouldn't rate it based off potential. Season two, man. I I got. There is no season two. It's gonna be fire. There isn't a season two. I guess if not that, then my number one would probably be like Haikyuu. I just but think that was, I, I was watching that clip back and I was like, why did I let him do that? Cause Blue Lock just has so much potential. I, I agree with you, but you don't rate an anime based off potential. That just don't make no damn sense. I think it make a little bit of sense. No, no, it doesn't. I think it make a little bit of sense because they can't fumble this. They can't, they can't fumble. I'd be so surprised if they fumbled this. But who cares, bro? You, you, ju- they, they might never drop a season two. That'd be insane. That'd like, be insane. They would have fumbled the bag. I, you just don't rank anime off of. That's just not how that works. That's not how that works. After this movie, it might solid. No, it wouldn't. I, I, I'll, I'll put High above it. Yeah, when's the movie drop? Is there uh, a release date? I think. Is there a release date? There might not be a release date yet. Okay. For some reason, I was thinking like end of this year, but hmm. I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Why not? Seems too early. Too early? Maybe. Oh, maybe. May, yeah. Uh, maybe there wasn't a release date. I don't know. But for some reason, I was thinking that it was dropping end of this year. Okay. Shit. I'll let it right. Hopefully, it's fire. All right. Does it pick up? I guess we don't know. Because I was wondering, does it pick up like when the end of the season was? But couldn't tell you. Yeah, we wouldn't know. Let's start off with the new Demon Slayer. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay. What is Demon Slayer famous and popular for? It's animation. So why the fuck <laughs> was I looking at this garbage-ass 3D animation that looked like some damn Coco Melon animation? Yeah, yeah, they they did pretty bad with that. Bro, what the fuck was that? I don't know. Like, it's... like That fish thing is stupid. I hate that thing. 
Bro, but why why would they like I get it, 3D animation is cheaper, but if your show the backbone of it to an extent, right? Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, it's not carried by its animation, right? It's a very large portion of it. But its animation is a very important piece of Demon Slayer. Yeah. And for you to fumble on some garbage ass 3D animation at that, like 3D animation already has no place. Not okay. I'm not gonna say no place. It shouldn't have that big of a part. Yeah. When you're putting 3D animation into an anime, it should be subtle. Yeah. I like it when they use 3D animation for like some background shit, for some shit that's not that important, and it'll be subtle to the point where a lot of people won't even notice. Nine times out of ten, I'll clock it and I'll be like, oh, that was some 3D shit, but like that shit don't really matter. Yeah. Like it'll be a crowd of people, or it'll be like Tandro walking somewhere and the camera will be far back. No, they had this ugly ass 3D fish. Right in my face. Yeah, that looked And it terrible. looked trash. It looked really bad. Especially when it was like multiple of them, like trying to raid the city. It looked really bad. I do agree with you there. That that looked terrible. I was sitting there. Dude, when I tell you I was genuinely dumbfounded, I was looking at the screen like, who who gave this the thumbs up? Yeah, that was that was bad. I agree. Who said, yeah, no, nah, you cooking. Put yeah. this out. I mean, I think... It was because of, cause you know, all like the breathing techniques are a little, like have that little bit of 3D in it. And I guess no, they, they were don't. like, yeah, oh, uh, what's his face is mist breathing. That looked a little 3D. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about like Tandro where his nah, shit, nah. cause his shit looked like, like, like more 2 it looked extra 2D. Tandro's water looked extra yeah, 2D. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, Mushido's mist breathing, like when he did it and all the mist, that looked like 3D. Like, all the smells and mists and gases, all that. The smells, for the most part, aren't 3D. I think that they are. Like, like when, uh... Like, the threat of opening? Threat of opening. No, 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 not that. Can I mean, we talk like, about how stupid that is? Have or I how re- you can smell somebody's <laughs> neck is ready to be cut? No sense. I don't get it. I don't... <laughs> I don't understand how you, how you smell the... The shot, like I don't. <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, I don't. I don't get that. I think the threat of opening is dumb. How he blink and it's and it it's ah, it's it's dumb, but kind of like in Blue Lock, you know how he can almost like smell a goal. Uh, yeah, but there's finesse to it. Like they do it a little swoop. It, they add the little spice. It's just like that line. And it, it just feels like, why is it there? I, I actually think the line itself is cool. I, I just don't like that he smells it. I just don't get why that's important. What, what, what does it add to the story when Tanjiro was saying, I can smell like the threat. I can smell that he's ready to be cut. Why did that add something other than him saying, I can see that his neck is ready to be cut. Why did, why, why does he have to smell it? Yeah, I don't know. The threat of opening is weird to me. It's stupid it's to me. I've to never me. understood that. That's so dumb to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the threat of opening. I don't get that. Like, it's, it's just, it's just, it's no finesse. It, it's dumb to me. I hate it. But yeah, there was, uh, the 3D fish. Very dumb. I did dislike it. I, I actually, hated it yeah i would go as far to say that i absolutely hated it also i don't know why they were there in the first place what the the fish yeah um i don't know i don't know why the fish were there they're over here going against the upper three or something like that they just brought them with them i don't know oh it's probably a pot guy maybe the pot guy's probably around because you remember, bro was like, cut the pot on their head. Yeah. Which, I get, you know, cut their head, that's what we know. But, like, the pot had some significance. Like, I don't know. When, when I saw the pot, I was like, cut it. But, I understand cutting the, the, the head off, because right. that's what they do. But, I don't know. I, yeah, the, I the pot the guy's pot. probably around. Probably. Like, the weird nigga. Because yeah. I'm pretty sure he's the main demon this season. Is he? Yeah, the pot guy's the main season, not the other dude. Well, yeah, it's definitely not him because I mean they already figured out how to beat him. So I'm yeah, assuming they're still gonna gotta beat him. I mean, what? I'm assuming they're gonna beat him semi fast. I they mean, fig- it's... they figured out how to beat Gudero and Daki in seconds, but 
it don't mean they knew how to do it. Like, it took they, like three episodes for them to actually beat them. This is only yeah, the beginning of the season. But that's a long... A- First off, no. We're like halfway there. No, I'm saying it took way longer than three episodes to beat Gyudo and Daki. In the actual fight scenes? It was like... It's like three episodes. Bro, he fought Doki for a good two epi- three episodes oh, yeah. alone. I guess that is true. I was odd. I was just thinking about like you because he real. fought Doki for like two episodes, and then Nesco fought Doki for one episode, and then they fought Gutero and Doki for probably like another three, maybe four. Yeah, yeah. I guess that is kind of true. Yeah, they fought them for a minute, but he can't be like the main villain. Can't be what the pie guy or the motion guy. The the, the dude that the dude that gets split. Yeah, the emotion guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, he's not the main one. I'm pretty sure the pot guy is. I think on the poster, <laughs> it's the pot dude. Mm. Well, also we haven't really seen Me City fight, so I'm assuming. Wait, oh, yeah, she's pulling up. She's on her way. Yeah, so I'm assuming they're gonna beat him pretty fast once Me City pulls up. Well, yeah, they need Me City because right now it's only Tanjiro, uh, Blicky Man, and Muichiro. Oh, and Nesco. Yeah, and Nesco. So I guess they have four. Because what? It's four of them niggas, right? Four of the emotions? Yeah. Did they beat Joy yet? Because I know they... They can't. They have to beat them all together. Oh, true. Yeah, they just like cut them into small pieces so far. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so there's four of them and then four... So I guess they don't need her. But, well, first off, Mauricio is... He dipped the other way. Yeah. Well... Isn't he, is he's on his way there right now, isn't he? No, he pulled up on bro. <laughs> yeah. On Lil Man. Yeah. And Lil Man was like, yo, Hazanezuka is, how, how do I pronounce his name? Hagenezuka, I believe. Hagenezuka is working on Tanjiro's sword and he can't stop. I need you to come pull up to protect him. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's protecting. So he's Hagenezuka. headed that way. He's not heading back. He's headed to ha- Hagenezuka and whatever the kid's name is. Yeah. Okay, but Meat City. Is... Also, he doesn't have a memory. What do you mean? He lost his memory. Muichiro? Yeah, it did the flashback of him laying in the bed, and uh, the oh, great master was like, "Yeah, Your memory will come back in time." Yeah. So he could really be whatever. We don't even know who he is for real. Yeah. He's probably pretty like strong. Cause he just seems like. Well, he is strong now, but like, what if his in his old life he was a farmer? That'd be like, he was just like, and at the end of the season, he get his memory back. He like, hey, like, I'm going to keep it a stack with y'all. I, I need to go fish. This hotter stuff ain't for me. So, yeah, I'm really supposed to be fishing, bro. I'm Maybe. out. I'm on a farmland saga right now. Come on, man. Yeah, I don't know what he's on. Yeah. he. Oh, yo, I'm actually a painter. Dang, yeah. I guess we don't really know what he is. I mean, I guess he's young, so he probably wasn't much, but. Dang. <laughs> what? He can't, he can't do nothing because he's young? I mean, he's like a teenager. Tanjiro a teenager? Yeah, and Tanjiro didn't have no life. Well, I guess he was a woods. He was like a charcoal lumberjack. Yeah, lumberjack. He, yeah. he was just like a he just did a bunch of he was like he used to carry charcoal and stuff too. I don't remember. Charcoal? He, was, he carried timber. No, he had charcoal in his bag. I'm positive. He did use that. Then axe. why the fuck does he well, I guess I think he does both. He well, I mean you make for charcoal out of wood, but Oh yeah, true. I guess that's true, yeah. Hmm. Learn that from from uh, Doctor Stone, but really, yeah, oh, I did not know that. I learned that from Minecraft. I didn't know that charcoal was made out of wood. What'd you think it was made out of? I don't know. Just mine it. I don't know. It's oh, you coal. thought it was made out of coal? Yeah. I'm no. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Charcoal is made out of wood. Yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, I learned that in Minecraft. You throw the wood in the furnace to make charcoal. Is that how you make charcoal? Yeah, you throw the. I don't play a lot of Minecraft, so I don't know. You throw the raw wood in the furnace, and then that's how you get charcoal. I always just mine it. No, that's how you get coal. Have I never made charcoal? What's the difference? There's not a huge difference. I think coal burns a little bit slower, but there, you could do more shit with coal than because I was like, I just burn wood. Yeah. Oh no no no. So if you Burn your wood. It goes super fast. Use your wood to burn some wood. 
And that wood will become charcoal, and then that will burn way slower. Oh, I didn't know that. I always just burn the wood. Like, yeah, no, don't do it. It was mad easy. I was like, oh, it's wood everywhere. Just burn the wood. Burn some sticks. No, you take that wood and burn some more wood to make charcoal, and then you use that charcoal. Oh, I did not know that. You can also use charcoal for torches and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for torches. Does it burn slower? A torch? Yeah. Torches don't go out, my Oh, brother. yeah. They don't go out. <laughs> yeah, those those don't go out, my brother. Oh, yeah. I haven't played Minecraft in a I good can while. Tell. Yeah, I, been, I can tell. It's been a while since i played Minecraft. Yeah, nah. You bugging. Yeah. But, yeah, nah. This episode was very good. Um, Nesco was getting pieced. Yeah. They were all getting pieced. Genya was getting whooped. If it wasn't for that prayer, like... Is that how he heals? Yeah. That's what it seemed like. He doesn't have concentration breathing. Is it a prayer? Yeah. I think he said that. It's a prayer. I feel like he part demon. I The reason... How else would he be healing, bro? I do think that it's a prayer. But he gotta be part demon. I, I don't know. I don't how, think he's part demon. But how else would he fucking heal? Prayer. Bro, then why don't everybody fucking pray? I don't know, but that one nigga that does pray, that one Hashira, he gotta be cold. Oh, with the, he gotta be cold. The crying dude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the strongest Hashira. Bro, he has to be. He's massive. He got an axe. He don't even use a Nietzsche, and he use an axe, and he has prayer. He gotta be dumb strong. I feel like he might be like part demon or something though, because like, how is you just praying and healing? That's the power, like, I don't know. Nigga, go teach other people this prayer. He might have learned it from the stone, Hasra. I don't know. But why are you keeping it to yourself? Uh, I mean, it's not like all the concentration breathers, like, teach it. A lot of them do, but not everybody. Yeah, because you got to train for years to do that shit. Nigga, I just got to memorize some words and I can heal? You probably got to train your body to do the, like... Cool, bro, but that's life and death, bro. Like, I can heal myself. Every Demon Slayer should learn this with their training. I don't think he's healing himself. I think he's more just sustaining his life. The nigga grew a tooth back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he did. That's grow. healing. Yeah, he did grow his tooth back. I don't know. It, it's probably not that strong, you know? I don't know, bro. But he is ridiculously strong like the fact that you can just heal with prayer and he got range range as a hashira yeah he gets gotta that. be broken yeah all hashira need to have guns yeah 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 like there's like, and that's not saying don't also carry your nichiri and like carry your of nichiri in like normal but you should also have a gun on your hip i don't really see i guess he's only using one hand i don't really see why he needs to use a short sword but i guess it would be hard to swing a full-size sword with one hand but i guess I mean, I would say carry a long sword. Yeah, I'm like, just extra range. I'm like, you might as well. But I guess it's harder to swing. I don't... I mean, I don't... just because you don't have a breathing technique don't mean you can't still use that motherfucker. Like, yeah. You can still get regular techniques. Yeah, like, that's that's what I thought. I don't know. A short sword just seems like you're kind of cutting yourself short. Yeah, you can definitely... A short sword is beneficial if you have two. Yeah. But, like, a single short sword... Blakey sword. sword. Like, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That just doesn't seem like a good fighting style in general. Like, yeah, I ain't well seen him really. The blicky. He ain't really made no noise with that sword for real. I think he cut one of the demons head off. He popped two, but I think he cut one. Man, nah, he ain't just be blasting, bro. Why not? Like, you can't really do nothing against these Nietzsche bullets. Yeah, like Genya is just tough like that. Yeah. Plus the prayer, he might he might really be him. Nah, he pretty lit. He pretty lit. Nesco was getting fucked up by that lightning rod nigga, though. Fair. Bro he's, was. He's just ridiculously strong. He's easily the strongest out of the four of them. I don't know. Relaxed? Which relaxed is, is kind of crazy. That's the, the wind fan. Nigga, that fan ain't shit compared to straight just... Like, just like... And then he can, he can create a new staff. And just have multiple stuff. I staffs. think the other dude created another fan. And he just, that's when he crushed Tanjiro with it. Man, let's go grab that bitch and started swinging it. She can't, she can't just use the, the lightning. Can't she? She can't just use the lightning? How the fuck would she? I don't know. Other dude used the fan. Tanjiro kind of turned up with that shit when he cut the nigga's leg off and used the leg oh, to yeah. grab the, 
That was a good idea. That was, that was smart. Yeah, I didn't know Tanjiro was like that. Yeah, that was probably one of his smarter plays. Like, I knew Tanjiro was smart, but I didn't know he was like, like, split second. He pretty crafty. Like, when he was fighting, uh, he almost killed Tomioka. Like. Oh, and he threw that hat. That was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> hey, he almost killed him, though. That shit was crazy. <laughs> he almost killed in, Hashira in as a what universe minor. can you just, like, just Kobe that axe, walk, run around, know exactly where that bitch gonna hit? Like. Hey, he really did his thing. He was about to kill Hashira at, I don't know what age, but young. And he ain't even have a sword. He just a regular coal miner. He was not about to kill him. That axe came close. Tomioka was confused. If that killed him, he deserved to die. Tomioka was like, bro, I did not see him throw that axe. If that killed him, he deserved to die. Nah, Tomioka's yeah. like that. Huh! No. He, he was about to get him, too. Nah, that was some bullshit. He, he, he was about to get him. He's a smart dude. Shout out to Tomioka. Shout out to, uh, what's that guy's name? Jay... I actually bring in Arizona. Fuck a Coca Cola. He was going crazy, bro. I actually downloaded that song this week. I wouldn't be surprised. It's a good song. Only thing that lean is your, your bitch, bitch when, when I bend her over, sipping Poland, spring Arizona. Fuck a Coca Cola. That's, that's your Julia. Oh, that's cool. I'm, I'm a Romeo. You, you think you a demon till I g you like I'm Tomioka, bro? That's a bro. That's a bar. You think you a demon till I g you? That's a bar. Like I'm Tomioka? That's a bar. He went crazy on How that. How on earth did he think of that? I don't know, but he went crazy on that. Like, how the fuck did you think of that? <laughs> That's a good bar. And not just that, he rhymed Tomioka with Romeo Ha. <laughs> Romeo Ha. <laughs> yeah. Like, he killed that song. He bodied that. He Bro, has another song that's actually pretty good. I forgot which one it was. There's a million ways to go about getting this bread and shit. Some be out here giving <laughs> head and shit. shit. Not me just saying there's bread in it. it. You can go to the league like Edelman. Edelman. Oh shit, another op dead again? again? Yeah. yeah. This time they really put lead in him? him? Oh shit, that was... Oh, them boys' aims is excellent. Yeah. yeah. He, was, he, 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 he be going crazy. But that's not nearly as hard <laughs> as fucking... You a demon to like G you like I'm Tomioka. That's a bar. I don't understand how he thought of that. I don't know. He you might think you he might really demon be him. till I G you like I'm Tomioka. He might really be him. Nigga had no business rhyming that. He might really be him. I don't know, man. The first time I heard that line, I remember being like, what the fuck? I replayed that multiple times. I remember being like, how does he fuck? really popped off? Yeah, bro. Because, like, the other lines aren't that lit. Nah, they're not, like, crazy. Like, lean bendo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Polish. Like, he's just Spring saying shit. Bring in Arizona. Fuck a Coca-Cola. Yeah, and, like, that's your Juliet. Oh, that's cool to, like, Romeo. Huh? That's hard. But you think you a demon to, like, G you like I'm Tomioka. And what pissed me off about that? Is people on TikTok be using that sound, not even understanding <laughs> yeah. how hard that like they don't know. They don't know who, who Tomioka, Tomioka is. is. They don't so know they don't, under, they don't they know, know Demon. Demon Slayer. Like they yeah. don't know they don't how cold that, know bar how hard that bar is. That bar is crazy. Yeah, that is kind of fun. I don't really think about it like that because niggas don't really know what he's saying. Every time I watch a clip, I be like, I wonder if this motherfucker know nah. just how hard he was spitting on this shit. Nah, they don't know for real. They don't know for real. That shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, he went dumb on that song. But overall, this episode of Demon Slayer. That was cold. It was a good episode. It was cold. I definitely enjoyed it. I had a very good time watching it. I fucked yeah. with that shit heavy. The more anime that I like, the more the anime that I'm watching progress, the more I am not as excited about Demon Slayer. Like, Demon Slayer is probably the first thing that I watch now because I be waiting to, like, build up to other stuff. I'll watch the shit I want to watch first. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll watch what I want to watch last. That's dumb. Wow. That's the last thing on my mind. Yeah. What? No. Yeah. Yeah. The the first thing on your mind is the most lit. Nah, it's the one that I remember the best. Yeah, which would make it the first thing on your mind. I kind of like switch between Dr. Stone and Mashal, but yeah. Being your number one? Yeah. What's your favorite shows that we're watching right now? Dr. Stone is going crazy, but so is Mashal. Hmm. Those those alternate. Those hmm. alternate for me. My number one tells Paradise. 
Really? Yes. I like Hell's Paradise. And uh, Heavenly Delusion is incredible. Yeah, I do really like Heavenly Delusion. Yeah. Like, but I don't know. Mashal is just... It's a good anime. I just like Mashal is good, but I'm like, like, don't get me wrong. I'm loving Mashal. Like, I'm really enjoying it. It was a surprise for me. I'm not rushing to it every week. It surprises me every week. And, I and so does Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone is just amazing. Too. I wasn't the biggest fan of this episode of Vinland, but it's it was okay. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, yeah I, I do want to talk about that. Yeah. Um, which what should we handle next? You want to go with? Hell's Paradise? Yeah, I'm there. Ah, look. I I fuck with Shorty. I, what's her name? Oh, why do I not remember her name? I'm not completely sure. Isn't it? No, that's not the... I'm thinking the... Don't, that's just like a end name. I don't remember her name. I fuck with her. And, like, she definitely has the skills... Like, she's consistently proving that she does have the skills, but she don't have the heart. And, like, you talking all this hot shit to this nigga about, give, like, taking your sword, his sword and shit like that. And, like, I get it. But, like, where's all that energy when it's time to fucking kill niggas? Yeah, I ain't really seen her do nothing for real. Yeah, like, I need she you to have that energy. She sort of went against Gabi Oh, Gabi shit, Maru. my bad, my bad, my bad. I actually had something I wanted to say about Demon Slayer. My bad. I forgot. Uh, I saw a, a tweet earlier this week that I wanted to ask about. Not ask about, but just, you know. Yeah. Um. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Okay. It says, Demon Slayer would have been so much better if Nesco had to fight against her murderous impulses after being turned into a demon instead of, for some reason, developing the mindset of a four-year-old girl who acts like a dog. 100%. Demon Slayer entire premise wouldn't change if Nesco was actually a really beloved dog. And that's when you know it's bad. It's so bad that not something you want to be said about your main female character. Uh, that's 100%. The fact that she can just sleep off her urges pissed me. Like when she they first said it, I was like, that's so stupid. Yeah, like, the urges part doesn't bother me. It's the fact that she's not a character. She's she's not a character. Yeah. Like, she's... Nesco is a pet. Yeah, yeah, she is. I, I wish she was more than that. I'm trying to think of, like, a pet that just, like, turns up. I don't know. She's like Akamaru. Like, <laughs> like she's literally just a pet, and then it'll just turn up for some time. She's like Appa. Yeah, yeah, like... And, like, I like Nesco, but, like, what I don't understand is she could talk. Before she was a demon, yeah. she was a regular girl. Yeah, like a completely, only, like, two years younger than Tanjiro. <laughs> like, and yeah, and then she got turned into a demon and she became like an infant. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't. Because I don't the other demons can talk and are just humans with demon powers. Yeah. Why did she turn into a mixture between a baby and a pet? Like, she turned into a a kitten or a puppy. Yeah, kind of. I Yeah, I don't like that. And another thing that... I don't understand it. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me, but... So she, like, sleeps off her urges, and so she doesn't really crave people, I guess. Right. Why does she wear the bamboo thing if she doesn't have the urges? I think she does have the urges. But they're just, she can control them. Uh, okay. And, and then, like, while we're on the topic of her being a pet, the muzzle doesn't help. The muzzle and the cat, not cage, but. It is, though. Like, yeah. Like. The muzzle and the cage. Yeah. Like, she, she's she's a pet, kind of. And Tondra will be talking to her like a dog, too. Yeah. Like it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> and then the second somebody come out, sick him. Like you know, like <laughs> yeah. that's all it is. Nesco is really just a puppy. Yeah, she's not a character. If I'm not gonna disrespect nobody, but like if Nesco is your favorite character, like what? Like <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, if Nesco is your favorite character, then like what do you like? What you mean? Yeah, like what are you doing? Yeah, like what? <laughs> there's there's what? no characteristics. 
Yeah, like what <laughs> about why is she your favorite character? Yeah. Like she's, she's actually someone please answer that. Like someone who if if you're listening to this right now and Nezuko is your favorite character, I need an explanation. Yeah, like I don't have beef with Nezuko, but I also don't have beef with like Akamaru or <laughs> anything like that. But right. she's just not a character for real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big. I'm not a big Nezuko fan. She doesn't have any personality or characteristics. There's, there's nothing. She don't talk. She don't. And it's you can have personality and not talk. That's the crazy thing. She just doesn't have any. I don't know why they Who's, don't give me an example. Oh, uh, I. You can definitely have person. I can't think of a. Who's a character that just like doesn't talk or has hella personality? Well, I guess Boji. Boji, hella personality. Yeah. I want to say Momo, but I would Co- say Momo Coda. has a who? Coda. Coda who? Uh, and a voice. Oh yeah, yeah. He doesn't really talk. I guess he has personality. He talks a little bit. I would say Momo has personality. She she has a coach. Momo. Doesn't. Momo from uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hella yeah. personality though. Like he. That's a real character for Chat, real. I, listeners. I bodied that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like. To go into Momo's music? Yeah. Come on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But Hello Personality, Nezuko does not have that. And yeah. I don't know why. It would be so easy to just make her do stuff. Like, I don't give us a reason to even like her. Yeah, she's not a person. Other than, like, cuteness? I don't know. Like, Yeah, that's really it. Yeah. Like, like, there's no but, real... But a cute in the same way a puppy is cute. Like, yeah. Like, that's the same reason niggas like Akamaru, but, like, no, Akamaru is nobody's favorite character. Yeah. You wouldn't say, hey, who's your favorite Naruto character? Akamaru. You say that, you're wild. I'd be like, huh? I'm going to clown. What you mean, bro? That's insane. <laughs> what you mean, Akamaru, your favorite? Akamaru. That's insane. Yeah, nah. Um, but Hell's Paradise. Yeah. I just had to get that off about Nezuko, because I was like, what, what's going on? Yeah, um, that is true, though. Yeah, okay. Next up, Hell's Paradise. I did like this episode a lot. I did like it. We got a little bit of action. Yeah. But I I I need to see more from her. I need to see more from her. Yeah, and I definitely need to see more from her. I don't I don't really care about her right now. I don't feel like they gave me a reason to care yet. Mm-hmm. I think they're starting to build it, but I don't I don't know like She's trying to live up to her dad's legacy, I guess. And her dad ain't even fuck with her for real. Yeah. Well, like, her dad did, but he didn't believe in her. Yeah. He supported her, but he didn't believe in her. Yeah. I mean, it's still it's still early, but I don't I don't really care that much about her her goals right now. Like what is her real goal? Well, I do. I do care about her goals. What's her goal? To have the perfect execution? Yeah, it's to be a true executioner. I... Yeah, I guess. But she's... I don't... I they need to build it. I don't know. I just don't care that much about... There's something about Gabimaru and his kind of like passion for his wife that makes him kind of a cool character. Right. For some reason, this just doesn't really make her that cool of a character right now to me. Well, I'm actually very interested in what her path is going to be, but right now I just don't care. Like, I I really do want to see where she's going to go and like what she's going to become. Because first off, I don't feel like she's going to end up being an executioner. I think probably not. Yeah, I think she like she has to be like a real swordsman. Yeah, I don't know what she's going to be, but I don't know if she's going to be an executioner. I just don't think she's made for that. The same way Gabi Maru isn't truly made to be a ninja or an assassin. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, he is one because he had to be. Yeah. The same way she is one because she more or less had to be. Yeah. And that one dude was a dickhead, bro. The, I don't know, like the Sunset Dono? I don't know. But that guy? Yeah, bro was like... Hey, you a woman. You really got to get the fuck out of here. 
This is not for you. Hey, go have some kids. Get off this <laughs> island. He said, go have some kids. Go have some kids. Carry on that family go name. Go make a sandwich. Come like, Come on. I was like, damn, bro, was, can you chill? He was bugging. He bro, was really bugging. And it wasn't even like he was trying to be a dickhead. He no, genuinely he was de- felt. He was dead serious. He was like, nah, for real. Like, you lucky. Like, you get to just go have kids. Like, yeah, go you have woman, kids. Go do what you do. Carry on the family name. Do, do your girl stuff. Like. That's it. You're not supposed to be here. He said, mine died, so you don't even got to be here no more. Just get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, he was like, I'll tell you, Gabi Maru, you bounce. Yeah. We don't need you here. He was he was so dead serious, too. Yeah, bro was kind of bugging. Bro yeah. was bugging. Yeah. Um, What you think about the new characters? Uh, The purple hair girl? How? What do you mean by, like, new characters? No, not the purple hair girl. I'm talking about the dirty kid and the, uh, the other motherfucker. Dirty kid. Oh, the dirty kid and the stupid uh, yeah. executioner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, the executioner dude seems like he's pretty chill. I like, fuck with him. He seems like a good yeah. swordsman in general. And just a good dude. Yeah. He seems like a good dude. I fuck with him. Good dude. Like, the uh, the prisoner girl is okay. First thought, when I saw the prisoner, I was like, huh, is this a, a woman or a kid? I couldn't tell. That was literally my first thought when I saw them. Can't be both. I'm just saying my first thought. <laughs> my first thought, because it's not a man. Yeah. Like, I didn't think it was. So yeah. it was either a woman or a kid. Yeah. I was like, is this a woman or a kid? And then I kept watching. I was like, oh, it's a kid. And then I was like, oh, it was a woman. Well, I guess it ended up being both. Yeah. But I, yeah, I don't know. I just yeah. thought that was interesting. I honestly, like at first glance, I didn't even think it was a guy. Like, really? No, nah, I didn't think it was a guy. It looked like a guy, but it sounded like a girl, which made me think this might be a kid. I could definitely see it looking like a guy, but... That looked like a guy to me. Mm. I could see it. I don't even know if it's I could see it. Like, that very... They clearly wanted us to think that... Even the dumb nigga thought, well, that's not the best defense in the world. (laughs) Even the dumb nigga thought some shit This stupid nigga thought the same thing I thought. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, not... But you know what I'm saying? Like... Yeah. He looked like a dude, or she looks like a dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I definitely see it, but at first glance, I was like, I think that's a girl. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I think that she she was holding weight that I don't think it made sense to carry. Like what? When she was like, my whole clan is dead because of me. Oh, that. But like, oh. that, it really wasn't. I though. forgot. Why did her clan die? There was a nigga in the forest and she was like, I think he was hurt or he needed something and something like that. They came back to the village and then murked everybody. Yeah, it so was my fault. I let him there and it was like, bro, the nigga was in the trees. He clearly needed some help and you gave him some help. Like, yeah, you got tricked. That's not something to really hold. I don't feel like. Yeah, I agree. And like, I get holding. You had to watch your whole clan die, which fucking sucks. Yeah. But I, I, that wasn't that wasn't her cross the bear. No, that, she didn't do anything. That wrong. wasn't really her fault. That Which is hard fault. to rationalize that when you go through some crazy trauma like that. Of course. But I, I, I think that I think she's she doesn't have to bear that cross. Yeah, just in my personal opinion, I I agree with you. I don't think I don't think that was her fault in in any way, shape, or form. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. That one dude was kind of cold though. He was more than an executioner. The I think they're called a Simon. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. one of Simon, he's, he was more than an executioner. Yeah. He was cutting them little cracking legs up. Nah, he was going crazy. Yeah. That he, <laughs> he was bodying that. Yeah, no, that shit was hard. That shit was fire. Yeah. I'll be it, forgetting that they're cold. Is there like something surrounding that island or it's, did they just happen to run into a kraken? It's the waves. You remember they said the, like the tides and currents all lead back to the island. But how did they end up? They weren't next to the island when that kraken pulled up. They were at like a shipwreck looking thing. Because all the ships keep getting wrecked because we can't get the fuck out of here. But why do they keep going there? What Go to the other side of the island. Well, they, they that's what they said. They said we have to find a like a current that leads out of this motherfucker. Oh. Because oh. all the currents are leading back. So we can't leave. Okay. I guess that makes a little bit of sense. Because I was like, why are there so many ships here? Didn't nobody think to, hmm, let me turn around. But I guess that makes sense if the currents are only pushing you 
that way. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I can't sail. Yeah. The currents are pushing me the other way. The wind's pushing me the other way. Like, it's not like we have a whole rowing team that's going to just row us out this bitch. I'm stuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm just straight stuck in this motherfucker. Yeah. But, yeah, he was he was a cold dude, though. Yeah. Like, he yeah, had agree. skills. He was cutting that cracking up. Yo, my mic is kind of bugging. Like, yeah, I was wondering what was going on with that. Yeah, you heard that? Like, yeah, first... I thought my headphones went out. But then I was like, oh, I think it's just the mic. Yeah, but he was a cold Asaimon. He's a good... Yeah, no, nah, bro was cool. He's cold. I fucked with him. Yeah. Once they pulled up to the beach and Shorty just said fuck it and just dropped the clothes, but... I mean, they were getting clean. He wasn't. He didn't even, he didn't even bathe. I mean, yeah, but they were getting clean for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. But, yeah, apparently she was a girl. Did not. I mean, you know, I get it. Hey, did, did anything else happen after that? Big body buddy. Yeah. I've been waiting for him. And I've been he waiting for him. Slink. Put a chink in his body. That's insane. Bro, just huh. like just a gap in his <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> How embarrassed he that just would be. Clink. Somebody just boom. And just took a big a section out of his stomach. In my stomach. And you just gotta hold that. Yeah. There's He's gonna be a it. monster. I want to see. He is him. a monster. He is a monster. Like I want to know what his face look like. Yeah, we just saw like because he, he just eyeball. wears a sheet of paper and he just got an eye hole ripped in that bitch. And yeah. clearly his uh guardian nigga is gone. Yeah, of course. He gotta have like a bunch of scars on his face. I feel like he has to. Nah, he too big for that. Like he too strong for that. That one dude got a scar. Who? The one dude with his brother? Yeah, but he's a human. This other nigga is a giant. I don't know. He cold, though. Yeah, but... Nah, I don't think he got no scars. I think he just probably, like, ugly or something. What if he wasn't? What if he was just beautiful? Just like, handsome? Just crazy. Nah, I don't see that happening. What if it was, like, some Haku, like, just look like a girl? I don't see that. On some, uh, Inosuke type shit? Yeah. Yeah, nah, I don't see that happening. I, I, I don't see that, that happening. I can see them doing it. Yeah, I, don't, I nah, I don't see that happening. I could honestly see them doing that. Nah, it's got to be like a crazy face reveal. It's got to be something nobody's expecting. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Like if you take it off and it's like a a rough looking face with scars, like yeah, we we guess that. Yeah, it's got to be something crazy. Nah, I think it's just a big. Uh, He's just a big ass. What's the word I'm looking for? Like a giant, but Behemoth? bigger. Now it starts with like a D. What's what's, Dwarf? what's Diane? Diane. Isn't is she part of the giant race? Oh, I thought it was someone that started with a D. Maybe not. Yeah, Maybe no, it's I just think, a giant thing. I think she might be part of the giant race. I don't know. Oh, whatever it is then. What Why did I say dwarf? That's the exact opposite. Yeah, what was the green uh nigga? The green who? The green nigga in Seven Deadly Sins. What was his name? The green nigga? He, when Diane went back in the past and she was put in his body. Oh, Dole? Dole. Oh, maybe that's what I was thinking of. I knew something had to do with that. Yeah. Yeah, I know his name is Dole, but I don't oh, okay. think, I don't think that was his race. I think he's just part of the giant race. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Um, but yeah, no, this Hell's Paradise is going crazy. I'm very much enjoying this series and I really, I want to see more, bro. Like, they're giving us bits and pieces. Yeah. I need them to really give us more. They're not giving us enough. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because they have my attention. I'm hooked. But they're not giving me enough to be like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I agree. I, I want to see. I want to. I think we're going to get. I don't know. It's going to be little by little, like every episode. Because I don't think we're going to get anything crazy next episode. I need, I don't know, man. I need them to give us some more. They're not giving us enough each episode. And like, I get it. It's a slow burn. Yeah. But I don't know, bro. Yeah. We get like a little bit of new every episode, which I like. It's like a little surprise, but keeps you wanting more. But now I want more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I don't know. That's just me. Um, what you want to talk about next? You can pick, pick the next one. Uh, Vinland. Hey, that boy Thorfinn back though. The beginning of this episode? Fire. The ending of this episode? What in the heck was going on? Ass. Like. (laughs) I didn't give 
This man was just floating in and out of consciousness for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. (laughs) That was so. I didn't give a single fuck. Not only do I just not care about Gardar for real. Yeah, not at all. And then he went back in the past. Past Gardar is hugging Hjalti and he's back conscious and he's laying on uh, Arn Hyde's lap. And I was like, bro, just. No offense, but like, just die, bro. Nah, like, what's going on? I feel that. I didn't get that. But the beginning, the beginning of this episode was Thorfinn fire. versus Snake. They that was, was good fight. cooking, bro. That was a good fight. They were fucking cooking. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm gonna be honest. If Thorfinn had his weapons, it would have been up. I don't think Snake could have won that fight. No, it would have been up. Thorfinn was cooking him with just the hands. Just his hands. That was all he needed. And feet. And he was feet. kicking. And feet. He was definitely he hit that kicking. Little that sweep. Hand. Ugh. That little sweep he hit him with? Yeah, he was that cooking was him. wild. He was cooking him. Yeah, if he had daggers, it would have been over for Snake. And bro was like, yo, how the hell did he become a slave? <laughs> Who caught him? <laughs> yeah. Like, how did a man with skills like this become a slave? Yeah, there was... I don't even know. I don't know. Because he was saucing him. But, I mean, Snake is a a warrior from Mikulgard or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what that shit was. I don't know what Mikulgard is, but they don't know how to train him. Not better than Thorfinn. I guess not, yeah. If he was, if he had the daggers, it would have been quick. Yeah, he has to have them somewhere, though. Or It'd be crazy if he lost him. He, bro, there's no nah. way he doesn't have his dad's dagger. He has daggers. his dad's dagger. The other yeah. one, he could, that was, just, he got that off yeah, somewhere. He found that dead shit. dude. Yeah, he found that shit. But yeah, he has to have his dad's dagger. Yeah, that's somewhere wrapped up, you know, yeah. safe, whatever. Pristine, still looking nice. Yeah, I like that he had to fight though. I like yeah. seeing them fight and he was, they was scrapping. That action was good. And then Snake won. Yeah. And then that boy Gardar said, Oh! He got his I was like, oh shit, bro, popped out that motherfucker and just oh. I knew he wasn't gonna die, but just the way he was choking him. Oh this is Bro look damn near dead. Bad. Like is is he alive? Yeah, he was getting choked like bad. What happens now? I don't know. Like where do we go from here? Yeah, I'm like, we gotta get Something new now. Like, I'm not even know. like, is Snake gonna be cool with Thorfinn? Like, he gonna be mad about it? Nah. Is they, they gotta, gonna get punished? They like, gotta leave. what's up with Einar? And Einar, like, yo, what, what's he got it? What's he do now? His girl's gone. First off, them niggas still chase him through the day. We didn't even see none of Einar this episode. Yeah. Yeah. Einar in the woods somewhere. Is he good? Like, nah, he cool. You know, he cool. Like, I don't know that. He was getting chased by three niggas. On horses. Yeah. But he was out running them though. Nah, he was zooming. He was zooming. Nah, he was putting the boots on them niggas. Yeah, he got he got the jets Snake on. Snake had him. to be like, hold on, bro. <laughs> he said, This injured man. No injured man <laughs> is getting gone on me like this. Looking on these horses like this. Cause he was really gone. He was using the jets. He zoomed out of there. Yeah. But he did kill like two of his homies. I I get Snake. I, I get him. Like I get him, but like I get him. You are you an escape slave. I don't really know you like that. Like I ain't got no I don't have reason to have remorse. You killed two of my homies. I get it, but like it was like, hey bro, do you really gotta murk him? Yeah, you killed two of my homies. Like Yeah, but no reason not to. I'm a warrior, you're a slave, you killed two of my homies, die. Yeah, I guess. I I understood it. Also, didn't really care if he killed the uh, Gardar. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about Gardar at all. Yeah, but I honestly don't really give a fuck about Arnhide either. I don't give a fuck about Arnhide. I just want to see Thorfinn and Anar head out to Vinland. Yeah, which probably isn't gonna happen because now Canute and Big Kettle is on their way back to the the farm. Yeah. So I feel like and uh, Leaf with them too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaf so. And Lil. Little uh, little Thorfinn. Thorfinn. I feel like, yeah, they're not leaving the farm for a little bit. Maybe, maybe like right after they pull up, 
they'll have to leave? Well, no, because they're going to have to protect it, right? I guess there's nothing to protect yeah, I'm anymore. Like, like, old master, the snake don't fuck with them. Yeah, because old Arnhide gone is down. Arnhide's out of there. Yeah. Old master probably finna die. They'll try to protect him, I guess. It's, Maybe. It's, it's up for him. It's yeah. Up for him. Yeah, old master done. Yeah, yeah, they, might yeah. Just, they might just start the Vinland Saga now. Hey, I guess they really don't have to be around like that. Yeah, they just, can probably leave. Yeah, Leaf can just yeah. old master don't care. Like, unless old master get in the farm. Nah, I think he's probably still gonna give it to Snake. Why? That nigga disobeyed everything. He said, "If you don't do it, I will give you the farm, bro. Don't don't even don't worry about it, bro." Yeah. Yeah, I guess he does have to give it to some. Maybe. Where's Arnheit gonna go? Is he going to wherever Chelsea is at? She don't know where that nigga at. I thought she they said that he nigga's was dead. In, I thought they said he was in somewhere. Yeah, she was lying. Oh. <laughs> oh. She said he's with your brother. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, that nigga got snatched, remember? Oh, dang. He been got took. She thinks Chelsea's dead. Yeah. Chelsea not dead, though. Uh, obviously not. Yeah, Healthy not dead. If you don't see someone die in an anime, they're not really yeah, dead. Like, no that's way. one rule of anime. If you see them die, they might not be dead. But if you don't see them die, they they're not dead, not bro. Dead. If they so, they just tell you they're dead, they're alive. Yeah. If you're like, ah, oh, I can't believe homie died, he's alive. Healthy might be like a kid warrior like Thorfinn. Yeah. That, that would be lit. Yeah, that's, what I, that's probably what I think it is. Yeah, that would be kind of fire. Yeah, but the end of this episode. How long were they slaves? Eight years? Uh, I don't really remember. So like eight, six, no, like something like that. Yeah, bro was like seven then. No. Yeah. I mean, I guess Thorfinn got it lit when he was probably about seven, eight. But yeah, I was like the last time God I saw him, he was one, right? Yeah, so he's nine. Yeah. He could he could be a warrior by now. Yeah, Thorfinn got it busting when he was little. Yeah. Yeah, he could be a Damn. Damn, could be a little warrior. That's a sad life, man. Yeah, I'm so glad as humans we have evolved past that. It was hell. He had nothing to live for. I really like that meme that's been going around where it's little Thorfinn like happy and then it's <laughs> yeah. like to demon Thorfinn. That yeah. shit is hard. I've seen that a couple times. That's yeah. a good ass meme. I fuck with that shit. Yeah, that is kind of fire. I want to find a blank one so I could do one. I don't know what I would do, but I mean, um, just look up the. The meme, and you'll probably find the blank one. Yeah, no, I just keep forgetting. Yeah, yeah, no, but that shit, that shit's good. Overall, it was a cool episode. Second half, absolute ass. Yeah, but I can't wait for next week. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully next week. And everybody was talking about how sad last week's episode was, bro. I didn't give a fuck. What happened last week's episode? No, I'm saying the most recent one. Oh no, I didn't give a. I don't care about Gardar, bro. I don't care about Gardar, and I don't care about Arnhide that much. I don't care about Arnhide. I care about Anar. I care about Snake. I care about Thorfinn. I care about Old Kettle. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's really it. I just. I mean, I guess Big Kettle. I fuck with him a little bit. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's yeah, not that special. That's... Other than that. I don't think I really give a fuck about none of nobody else on Villain Saga right now. Nah. Yet. Well, I mean, let me take that back. Thorkel. Canoe. Well, yeah, I care about them, but not like they're cool. That's all. Like, you know, I don't really care about them. I care about Thorkel. I, I think he's a cool ass. Thorkel guy. is Thorkel is cool. And I care about Canute. I don't care that much for Canute. Are you sleep? He cool. Like, I, I fuck, fuck with his Canute. his vibe. But I don't really care about him. Like, I like not him. old master care, not Thorfinn care. Like, as gang, Canute is just like. Who's your oh, favorite character? I think I gotta go Thorfinn. Fair, but if not Thorfinn, I want to say Snake over Anar. Yeah, crazy. Anar is gang. No, you're bugging. I need. No, yeah, that's mad. I need somebody with the skills. That's mad. I need a warrior from Mikulgard. Miko guard with the Miko guardian sword. Yeah. Got the that curve is, on that bitch. That sword is fire. Yeah, nah, that's just hard. Um, what you want to talk about next? Uh, Mashal? Yeah. Good episode. I like the show. I'm going to be honest, bro. Not a fan? I like the show. I did not like the way he was flying on the bro. I like that. That, that was, shit was stupid, that was bro. gas. <laughs> that shit was dumb as fuck. <laughs> he was just throwing. <laughs> now 
I fucked with that. Like the throwing it and getting the points was hard. But the, he was. <laughs> bro. I that, don't know, bro. That killed me when I saw it. Oh my God. Cause I was like, I saw him levitating and I was like, Oh, he's like jumping really fast or something like that. I was very confused. He was just kicking in the air. There's something that's kind of like that that I can't wait to talk about later today. But, nah, I was confused. I was like, how the fuck he get up there? And that nigga was just... He's just kicking in the air. And he was throwing that ball crazy. Like, nah, he was out there. He was yeah. getting that shit. New high score. New new record. Yeah. He a demon. The like new dude. Mash. The gravity magic dude. Graviola, Graviola, that that's that's fire. I like him. I hit the fuck out of this. Yeah, <laughs> I hit the fuck out of that. Yeah, <laughs> but nah, I like Graviola. He seems like he's gonna be like he's gonna come back as a as a pretty cool character. First off, kind of like a rival. Yeah, his character design hard. I like his character design. Goated character design. Yeah, the sister complex I could have done without. Uh, I think that it's, I could say, yeah, it's a little overplayed. Like, I don't care about the sister complex thing, you know, especially when, well, that's her sister, this blood, I get it. But like, you're a healer. We we all have magic. Like, I don't think being a healer is that crazy. What? He like healed him. Cause remember he got into a fight and she like healed him. Right. And I guess that that was good. Like I don't I don't no. see why. Hey, I mean, he just loves her because it's his sister? sister. Yeah, and he just obviously has something wrong with him. I guess, but yeah, I just I just don't care. I, I don't, don't care know about like, the whole sister complex. Thing. I get the sister complex thing is supposed to be like funny, but I've kind of already seen it with Gauche. Yeah, yeah Gauche, that's, that, the second it. it popped up, I automatically thought like, oh, this is the the Gauche vibe. Yeah, so I just I don't know the sister complex wasn't that funny. I did fuck with uh. Mash, when he said, he grabbed the lock and he was like, hey, bro, you a lolicon? Yeah, I'm <laughs> calling the authorities. I'm not, yeah. not really fucking with you, bro. Like, yeah. That was, that, that was funny. I was yeah. fucking with that. No, nah, that shit actually made me, I laughed out loud. I chuckled. I was laughing Cause at that. Because Mash was like, mm, damn. Like, <laughs> really got to call the cops on your dumb ass, bro. I was laughing at that. And just like the uh, the hamstring magic. That that was just the funniest name for some reason. That killed me. I ain't gonna lie. The hamstring magic pissed me off a little <laughs> hamstring bit. Hamstring magic killed me. Because this nigga dropped a bottle off the cliff, hit that bitch with the graviola, yeah. and this nigga took 15 minutes to get mm. ready. You telling me that shit ain't hit the ground? Nope. <laughs> He's different. That shit hit the ground, bro. Nah. It hit the ground before you was even ready. Nah, he, he got ready fast. He didn't. That, that's how fast. He it was talked right, to this nigga. It was right about to hit the ground when he saved it. That's how fast he ran. Bro, for that to that's have worked out mathematically, magic. they would have had to have been like 5,000 feet in the air. We don't know how big that cliff was. We don't know how slow the graviola is. N- nigga, that shit was enough to drop mash to the ground. You got a you got different amounts of gravity, you know. That graviola, man. Yeah, that's a, that's some cold magic, though. You he got, got the, the two double, marks. Yeah, yeah, the double line, yeah. which looks fire. I like the double line. I I feel like that's the only one that's gonna look good. What you mean? Like I already don't like the curve line. Two of them might look dumb. The double is hard. The double straight line is cool. Once they do like a double curve or. A double like light. A double bolt? like zigzag that might be cool. Oh, oh I. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, it's midnight. Like <laughs> it's late, y'all. It's late. So excuse my. I don't know why. <laughs> I was trying to talk and the words just <laughs> weren't. Like, what was the funny part? <laughs> the words just weren't coming out, bro. Oh, man. But, I don't uh, even know what I was about to say. The, the double, a double <laughs> lightning bolt might be cool. Oh, oh, oh. The, <laughs> a, a double like curve in line, I don't think that's going to look good. That's going to look stupid. Eh. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. One under each eye, that might be kind of cool. 
That shit kind of hard. Yeah, I think that nah, would be that cool. shit would be fire on some like crying shit. Yeah, I think that would be cool. Yeah, that's fire. It's probably gonna be a while till we see another one like that though. Yeah, probably. Cause what they're one in a hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah, we're probably not gonna see another uh, double line nigga. Yeah, yeah. Mash damn near double line nigga. Basically, yeah. Like I want to see Mash actually scrap. Me too. We haven't seen him scrap for real. Like, we've seen him go up against this dude, and he didn't even actually, like, fight him. He went up against that one dude in episode one, but they Mm -hmm. weren't. I want to see him actually, like, go toe-to-toe, hand-to-hand. Not even hand-to-hand, but just, like, actually, like, hey, you're trying to hurt me, and I'm trying to hurt you. Yeah. Yeah. I need to see, like, what is it like when he actually tries? That's all I I mean, we saw him try to... He took the jacket off and used his hamstring magic. But, like, when he fights, you know, like, oh, when yeah. he's actually going all out. Yeah. I need to I need to see what that's like. Because it's not going to be, like, no Saitama where maybe. I don't know. I was like, I really don't know how strong MASH is. He flies by kicking his legs fast. Yeah. He's pretty fucking strong. Oh, my, can he punching through meter-thick walls, like, eight of them at a time. So he is very strong. Meter thick is crazy, yeah, bro. A meter thick like, wall, <laughs> bro. A meter is like this big. Yeah, punching through that and it's just cement. He a strong dude. You magic reinforced. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Mash is out here. That's what them cream puffs will do. He said, "What's the most important thing in the world? Cream puff." Wrong. <laughs> he a weird. He said, he "My sister." Weird. He said. I guess we all got our priorities. <laughs> Matt, yeah. It's because Mass don't actually like give a fuck about nothing. He doesn't. He, he doesn't said, care said, oh, about. I guess anything. that's subjective, bro. Now, that's why I like him. He's a he's a cool character. I like Mass. I like this show. I like I'm, his deadpanness all the time. Like even when he, he was like, "Hey, bro, I bury you again, man. Like keep it a stack with you. I just keep burying you. It don't do, matter. Do some do some shit again. I can bury you from wherever. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah, and it's not even like a cockiness. He's just. For real, like, I can just bury you. Yeah. I like him. He's just a good character. So far, I'm liking this show. I don't like the captain, the Duello captain. Um, I I don't feel like we saw much of him. He's like, over the top and annoying. The bamboo. He, yeah. Bamboo? Yeah, fuck. Chuck, bro, yeah, fuck I don't up, really, bro. I don't really care about him. I don't think I will care about him. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that nigga at all. Like, in the slightest, I don't care about that nigga. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't see myself caring about him. I also him. don't really like the girl either. Oh, I don't like her. She don't do yeah. nothing. Only I, I only nigga I like in his squad right now is his roommate. He's cool. I fuck with him. I think Double Line is gonna end up like, yeah, he's gonna be gang. Yeah, so he he's gonna end up being cool. And him and Mash have the same goal, so it only makes sense to team up. Yeah, because they're really trying to like rebuild the world and so it can accept people with lesser magic or no magic or whatever so they really got the same goal yeah because mass trying to get accepted for himself and he trying to get his sister accepted who don't got no magic it's fair yeah and i mean he got his coin now oh yeah he gave that shit up bred it up i don't think he's bred but you know he got his coin yeah it's like um anya's stars yeah, Stellas. You know. Stellas, yeah. It's basically the Stellas where you get shit for being a good noodle and you get the... Now he got two and he could connect them up. He got, what, like a quarter of a yeah, coin so, now? Yeah, yeah, like a quarter. Yeah, it's like eight pieces of the coin. You can piece them together. I'm with it. Yeah, but overall, I do really like this show and this was a pretty good episode. I agree. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, Dr. Stone. Fire. A. Hey. Fire. This episode was way better than that. Like, it's not like I didn't expect it to be fire, because I did. I expected it to be fire. Yeah. But they got that boat done, and it's up, bro. That boat is gas. The Perseus. Yeah. Or no. I think it's Perseus. Is it Perseus or Prometheus? Perseus. Yeah. The Perseus. Yeah. That shit is hard, bro. That's a fire name. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They did a little too much. On the boat? Yeah. Nah, they killed it. They did a little too much. They killed it. Bro, they got the the mouth on that bitch. One thing that I thought was weird is they took all the main characters on the boat. They didn't leave the city with anybody that could defend anything. They don't need to. What they got to defend? They brought the evil niggas with them. You, something, give, a, give us one main character. 
Wait, like, there's no, like, none? No. Dean Rowe, Keen Rowe, the, the cop, everybody is on the ship. Everybody. The last one was Keen Rowe, and he swam to the boat. Yeah. Well, nah, somebody else had to. No one is on that island. The, the, the priestess. Yeah, yeah. She's a main character. Yeah, she's a main character. Is Yuzu or her on the boat? She's on the boat, yeah. The fuck they take her for? Oh, she actually said, uh, just cause Taiju. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Taiju the goat. Boy, he swam and picked up Ginro so fast. Yeah, no, Taiju's him. Taiju is, he's just so strong for no Oh, way. what about the other girl? Who's um, the, the girl cook? who really liked the singer. Who really liked the singer? Yeah, they tricked her with the song. The the really strong one. I think she might have been. No, nah, she's on the boat. The uh, the purple with the yeah, her with yeah, the she's green. She's on the boat. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, they took Kohaku is off. oh Suika. That's the peanut hit. It's not a peanut. The watermelon hit. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah she's not on the boat. But it don't even look like a peanut. It's, bro. It just like, you're not even trying. I just think peanut. Melon head. Yeah, yeah, her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. They, the they yeah. got Suika. They got the priestess. They got. Obviously, the crafter came with them. Yeah, I was about to say they came with the. Um, the photography girl. Um, she stayed behind, but she's not a main character. I was about to say no. Actually, she stayed behind. I actually hate her. Yeah. She doesn't like she have any personality nothing. whatsoever. Yeah. Um. I think they took what about the millet ramen nigga? The millet ramen nigga. The big body about nigga. Francois? Nah. The just the, the big the body. The craftsman? No. Just the random He's just the chubby nigga that liked the millet ramen. Oh, well they probably left him. Yeah, they the, hopefully they left him. They don't need him eating up his food supply. Damn. I'm I'm kinda glad that because you remember we talked about it last week and I thought they were gonna split fifty fifty. Yeah. I'm glad that they didn't. Story wise, yeah, makes it ten times better. Yeah, I'm, first off, I'm very glad they brought Gen with them. Who? Gen. Oh, that's the mentalist. I see here again. Yeah, yeah, the mentalist. Yeah. I was nervous they weren't going to take Gen at first. I'm glad they took Gen. Um, they needed Chrome. They obviously, yeah, they needed Chrome. I'm happy that we got Genro. I don't really care about Genro. But I like. I don't really care about either. If I'm being honest, you don't fuck with Genro. Genro is okay. That's the glasses. Yeah. It's okay. I like Ginro. Kinro, I could do it out. Ginro, fuck with them heavy. Mm, they're 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 okay. Okay, that's fair. Taiju, my boy. I wouldn't have been mad if they left Taiju behind. They I, I wouldn't Taiju. have been mad at that. They need him for what? He's the. Mm, he's like the second hardest worker, other than the craftsman. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. That's if true. If something that's breaks true. down on the ship, it's oh, gonna magma. be into. Oh no, they brought Magma's, Magma. Magma's on the ship. Yeah, they brought him and that little bum ass nigga. The cop? No, the uh, the bum ass nigga that be following Magma. Oh yeah, they brought him too. That little skeevy nigga, yeah. that skeevy dude. Yeah, I don't know why they brought Magma. Probably just I don't fuck with like, him. Slag, I, I don't man. like the cop either though. Uh, he's okay. He's whack. He's I don't hate him. He he like tries to kind of be like comic relief, but like he's not. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate him. He's okay. He's just annoying. And he's just strong. And, you know, he's he's a good worker. I'm not mad at it. We need good workers in the stone world. Yeah, he so, all right. I ain't mad at him. Damn, what the fuck is going to happen while they're gone, bro? bro? They're about to get whooped. Not even get whooped, but, like... Y-Man is about to drop a bomb on that city. Nah, he not, he not doing bro, that. Y-Man is about to body that city. But they're about to... We know they're about to pull up on people at this uh, Treasure Island. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is where they first landed. Yeah. Which means they probably had some kids in that bitch. In, on the island? Yeah. They had some kids on the island? Yeah. What you mean? What you mean? Uh, they had kids on the island. Who? Oh, the, the pirates. Astronauts. The, the, yeah, the astronauts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they had yeah, kids yeah. on the island. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, definitely, probably. yeah, they definitely had like two of them had kids there or some shit and, there's some people on that island for sure. Probably, maybe one of the the astronauts might still be there. Really How? Know. I don't know. Maybe he got petrified somehow in space three thousand years, and then like fell down. 
three thousand. They didn't get petrified in space. Maybe he like jumped out the spaceship and fell down. There's no way Senku's dad is gone. What? Senku's dad's not gone. That nigga would be three thousand years old. He got petrified somehow. He started the petrification. No, I don't know. No. It would kind of make sense if whoever set set off the beam did it from space brought themselves to space to get away from the beam. Senku's dad did it. Okay, it wasn't him because he knew that Senku right. was going to be the first out. All right, all right. No. Senku's dad isn't smart. But the thi- yeah, no, Senku's dad's not. <laughs> I don't so, know. I got nothing. Yeah, it ain't that, but. I kind of see it though. Hmm. They probably did the petrification through space. Probably. Why man might have been up in space? Damn. An uh, alien. I'm, I'm thinking about this. Yeah. Why man? Okay. Now you're taking it too far. <laughs> but why? What if man? it was? What if they did all this science just to bring out some? I'm done. Some <laughs> extraterrestrial. Yeah, I'm done. Some alien. If Doctor Stone does some bullshit. That is magic or aliens or sci-fi. I'm done with the show. Yeah. yeah I don't need be, that. I don't need that. I need this annoying. to be a show rooted in realism. I love. For well, the petrification beam, you know, like, I don't know about realism. We don't know what that is yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rooted in realism might have been a stretch, but no. Okay. No, no, no. It's rooted in realism. There's some other shit. Yeah. But it's rooted in realism. Yeah, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I think I need Dr. Stone to be that. I need Dr. Stone to, to hold that science aspect. Yeah, I agree. Me. Yeah, I would be highly upset if some, like, extraterrestrial yeah, I'm pissed. power system, something, something like that got added. I I think I'd have to drop the show. Yeah. But I really do want to see Y-Man. I want to see what Y-Man is on. Yeah. I got to see more of the greediest man. I fuck with him, bro. He a cool dude. Because he the greediest nigga, but he really gang. Yeah, man. He was like, nah, bro. Fuck that little boat. We going big body yacht. Yeah, bro. Because that's what I want, and I don't give up on the shit that I want. Y'all niggas might just give up because you think it's not possible. But me? No, I'm in this bitch. Greatest justice, man. No, Still I'm, don't get it. Don't make no sense. Still makes no it sense makes, to me. I fucks with him. Not a lick of sense. By no idea. Greed is justice. Hey, you know what just dawned on me? I fuck with Dr. Stone, right? Yeah. Who's in charge of unpetrifying people? Who's in charge of unpetrifying people? Yeah. Like, who picks who gets unpetrified next? I think he just kind of lets anybody pick. Whoever's doing that is racist. No black people? Where the fuck are the black people in Dr. Stone? Yeah. You telling me all them motherfuckers got petrified and they didn't unpetrify no black people? Nah, that's facts. Where are the black people at? Yeah. That's that's very true. They definitely did not unpetrify a single black person. Like, I get it. They're in Japan. So, I get it. There are some you black gotta, people in Japan. Like, but one, like, you didn't unpetrify one black person? Maybe they're unpetrifying, like, random civilians, too. So, like, you but, can't see through the petrification. Like, we don't know. Yes, you can. You can see really. their face. You can see their facial features. Yeah, you can tell. You can look at their facial features and hair and yeah. know this is a black person and this person is Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like... They I don't just know, be, bro. They might just be racist. Mm. I fuck with Senku. That's my guy, but Senku might not fuck with me the same way I fuck with him. He might He might not. That's Real all talk. I'm saying. He don't like them. That's crazy. Or maybe it's that's crazy. all Sukasa was killing. Sukasa might have just been Dang, knocking the head. Just, there's just no more left. That's, yeah, just murder all the black people, that's bro. That's why he's just going down the street just killing all the black people. Yeah, nah, I don't know, bro. When did... I don't remember that much of last season. When did Sukasa get petrified again? At the very end. How? Uh, no, he's not petrified. He's, oh, he's frozen. How did he get frozen? They froze him. Just like, like in a freezer? Yeah, they built a freezer. Oh, wow. they built a freezer because the goal is to petrify him. They're freezing him until they can petrify him. 
so they can unpetrify him and he'll be healed. Mm. Okay. Because the petrification fixes your wounds and injuries. Because mm. you remember, Uzuriha was putting people back together yeah. and then unpetrifying them so they're normal. Yeah. So, yeah, since he has a mortal wound, they froze him so they could petrify him, so they could unpetrify him, so he'll be healed. Okay, that makes sense then. Because yeah. I just totally forgot how that happened. Yeah. But I'm rooting for the Kingdom of Science. Me too. Kingdom Me too. of Science is super fire. Even if they don't got no niggas, but yeah, I'm with it. Yeah. I'm with they gotta, they gotta get one. They yeah. Get one. Yeah. But this is a good ass episode. Um, I also love this episode of Heavenly Delusion. Yeah. Yeah. I am really liking Heavenly Delusion. That like sanctuary is interesting. I'm like baby thingies. I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's interesting. I like this show because I don't understand shit. I don't cuz originally I I assumed that that place was like a sanctuary cuz the outside world it is. I think it the is. outside world is terrible like demons and stuff everywhere. Yeah. But they got something else underlying. Yeah. These little baby things. I don't know what's going on with these. I'm willing to bet that the sanctuary is heaven. That's kind of what I thought. Because Maru clearly has powers. Yeah. And so do all those other kids. Yeah. Because the one kid is like hyper climbing like that yeah the other one can see the future they said that one nigga was just launching them rocks yeah so and now the one girl that we've been following whatever her her name is like the main girl of there yeah she's sick now yeah and then that one dude died yeah she got the same shit old bro had maybe yeah. we don't know that but she thinks I think she it's does. gotta be the same thing well, she might not have anything. She just thinks that she True. has it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? She don't got no, like, marks on her yeah. body or nothing like that. I don't know, man. I don't know what's, like, going on for I her. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, All I know just... is that I think the sanctuary is heaven. Yeah. Maru is one of them. That makes total sense. Is he one of them little clone babies? That's what I thought. I thought they might be growing some of these kids. Maybe. I think that they might be growing kids. I mean, they might be, but like, I don't know where the rest of the dot. Also, confused Maybe. about this one guy who can draw the. Yeah, the that digs. dude is still super confusing. Like, he drew the fish yeah. with the arms. He He can like predict. I don't know if he's predicting or making them. I think he's having visions of the pre-existing ones. Maybe. I think. Like, I don't think he's just thinking this shit up from scratch. Yeah. I think he's, like, having visions and drawing based off the visions. That's possible. And maybe the ones that he draws are, like, connected to Madu in some way. I don't know, bro. But it's confusing. It, like it's interesting but it's, it's super good intriguing. confusing yeah yeah it's like i want to know what's going on yeah the story's slowly unfolding and they have an idea about the doctor now yeah so they're gonna try to track him down with that one dude's help who doesn't seem like he's about to be very helpful oh he all they need is for him to tell where like where the doctor's at i guess yeah he just for some reason. Actually, wait, he told them already that he got the uh they got the map or some shit, right? They got a map at the end? Yeah, she bought it. Oh, I don't remember that part. Yeah, uh Ki Ki Kiroko bought yeah. the map. Oh. Off off that guy? I don't remember where she got it, but she bought a map. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, as long as they got the map, I guess it don't really matter. So they're looking for but wh- who is that dude again? Did they say? Who's who? The dude that they're looking for. The doctor. Doctor. But like doctor of like that's the nigga who put his brain in Kiriko's oh, body. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So, cause that's a guy whose yeah, brain is in, in there. Kiriko's. That's her brother, I believe. Her brother. Yeah, yeah. That's in Kiriko's body. Exactly. But why do they need to find him? 
Because why the fuck did you put me in my sister's body, dog? I guess, yeah. I guess I don't know that. <laughs> Nigga, I got questions for you. <laughs> yeah. Like, what you mean? That's fair. It ain't yes. on some like, oh, well. No, nigga, what the <laughs> so, fuck well. is happening? Yeah, that's completely fair and valid. Yeah. Like, you how did know, you do this? Why did you do this? Gotta know why you put me in my sister's body. Yeah, it ain't no just, well. Uh, well. <laughs> no. Guys, I gotta live like this now. No. Yeah. Gotta have some questions there, buddy. But yeah, it, it's definitely an intriguing show. That shit. Because there's a lot that I just don't know, but I want to know. Yeah, I don't know shit. Yeah. And, like, shit. what are, like, these powers that the things have? What that one thing with the whips is crazy. Oh, that shit was hard. <laughs> that thing. Those whips were actually sh- insane where you just can't see them. Just... Clean off. <sighs> yeah. And then, I, this, man, there's just so much shit going on, bro. Yeah. Maru got them hands, though. Maru was putting the beats on them niggas. Yeah. Them niggas who uh were messing with him when he was playing the game. Yeah. He, just, bah! he got hands. Should have bust out the Kido beam. Damn, to kill them? Yeah. <laughs> it's unnecessary. You gotta bust out the Kido beam. That's unnecessary. Oh, we got some more of Madu's background too. Yeah, I, for, I forgot what what happened with his Uh he was like traveling and then like he was with like a traveling orphanage kinda. And then the head nigga died, and his sister came. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so oh, basically, he, he's yeah. just been following people around his whole life. And they keep referencing the Great Disaster, and I don't know what that was, what that is either. Like, why the world is the way it is. I don't yeah, know. I'm like that. That's got to be something that like started these monsters and stuff like that. You know what this shit kind of remind me of a little bit? Uh, Promise Neverland. No. Really. I mean, a little bit. Aliens on the outside, inside, sanctuary, trying to figure out what's going on. They're killing kids, you know? Like, I mean, I see where you're trying to take the culture. Yeah. I understand that. But, um, reminds me of, like, the deeper parts of Adventure Time. Like, with Ooh and the Mushroom yeah. War and, like, how did the world get like, like all this? this and backstory. And what's kind going of... on? Yeah. yeah. I see I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. That's I how I'm you. feeling. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah, I feel that kind of shrouded in a lot of mystery. Yeah, I fuck with it though. I fuck with it. it yeah, remi- good show for sure. Yeah, it reminds I mean, me of Adventure Time in all the best ways. Yeah, I'm super, super committed to this show now because I got to know what's going on. Yeah, what day of the week does it drop? I don't know. I watch everything on Thursdays. Yeah, you should probably stop doing that. Yeah, I got to figure out what day everything drops. Yeah, just watch it. Uh, Hell's Paradise, Saturday. Okay, wait. Mashal, Friday. Hell's Paradise Saturday. I think I did know Mash will drop on on Friday. Yeah. Demon Slayer Sunday. Oh, I thought that was Saturday. Okay. I think Vinland is Monday. Okay. That makes sense. Dr. Stone is Thursday. Okay. I don't know when Heavenly Delusion drops. Yeah. No idea about Heavenly Delusion. I'm pretty sure that's the list. Did I forget something? I think that's pretty much everything. I think that's everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But so far, everything, everything hitting. Mashal is fire. Dr. Stone fire. Those are my two favorites right now. I think you're kind of sleep on Hell's Paradise a little bit. I love Hell's Paradise. Amazing. Mashal is that it's the most lighthearted and like the, I want to come back for it because it's a feel good anime. When I'm looking for a story, Dr. Stone has it. 10 times over. I'm trying to know what's going on. Fam. Heavenly Delusion. Heavenly Delusion is amazing too. But But I like... If you talk about I want to know what's going on... I want to know what's going on, but that's kind of all Heavenly Delusion is. Here it's like, I really like the characters. I want to know what's going on. There's... They do have great characters. Like, there's just a lot in this show. They have great characters. They do... Like, Dr. Stone What's your favorite Dr. Stone character? That's tough. I th- mm, it's not. It's not tough. Senku was number one. Senku was just. I, in my mind, I was kind of not counting him. Okay, yeah, because Senku is the obvious answer. Other than Senku, I gotta go Chrome. I agree. Yeah. I agree. If not Chrome, Gen. I like Gen. I see here again. That's the goat. I think I gotta go. Senku top five. 
Sanku, mm-hmm. Chrome, Fair, Gramps. Okay. Mm. Gramps is too high on your list. What? Yeah. Gramps is hard. He's too high. The Steam Gorilla? He's too high. We have a car. He does all of the crafting for real. Yeah, but as a... We don't... He don't really... I, he has built the stone world for real. I guess. Okay. This Senku's vision? He is the architect of this, like... But he doesn't have, like, a ton of personality, really. I guess guess but like like it's what, the what, feats what he yeah his feats are cool but how likable is he okay if we're just going off likability and i'm not but i don't know i just feel like he's too like but this okay. is your list this is your list okay i'm gonna keep him where he is because yeah, he's no, it's, just it's the ghost list. anytime you pull up to the screen i'm like oh something's getting done yeah it's your list he is how you know that the story's about to move along once he pull up to the screen facts after him I gotta go Taiju. Hmm. Taiju to go. Taiju to Feels go. too high on the list. Number four, Taiju? You're, you're like the third main character? It's like second main character. Taiju is not top five. Taiju is gas. No. Taiju be getting it done. Uh, After Taiju... I want to put Gen. I like Gen. I really like Gen. Yeah, right. I think Gen is five. Let me give you the list, bro. Senku. I say Chrome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Senku. Chrome. Yeah. Gen. Fair. Kohaku. Which one is Kohaku? That's the girl? Yeah, the Huntress. I like Kohaku. World's Greediest Man. I really like him. That's I don't know list. I don't know enough about him yet though. But I like him. You know everything you need to know about him. The world's greediest man. He's the world's greediest man. Yeah. What more do I need to know? Yeah. Nah, that's, that's valid. That's I know valid. everything I need to know about my nigga. That's He's valid. the world's greediest man. That's fair. Shout out my boy, man. I don't he even is. know his name. Ryu something? Ryu Ken? Ryu something like that. Yes, and I know his last name. It's Uchiha. Nah, I don't know his last name. I don't know his last name. Man. I don't know how to... I I can like see it in my but I just don't know how to pronounce it. It's Ryu something. Oh yeah, that's his full name. It's like Ryu something last name. Yeah, yeah, I know his last name though, because uh-huh. it's like a a family company that starts with a K. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know what it is. Nah, hold on, I gotta reevaluate my top five. Francois. Nah, Francois is cool though. I like her. I, I fuck with Francois. Top five? No, nah, she's but not I fuck top with five. Francois. Yeah, Francois is Francois. the goat. They took Francois with them, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, have to. We gotta. We gotta eat. She not cooking on the. She cooked all the, the bread already. Oh, true. Dang. I was trying to see more of the, the shrimp and fish and. Well, they got they got uh Ryu on the boat. He catching fish. Yeah, I mean they have shit to cook now. Mm-hmm. I like Ears guy too, but he doesn't have enough yet. I don't care that much about uh. I forgot his name, like Ikoyo or something like that. It's something with a. It's like a short name. That's Ears. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't care that much about him yet. I like him. I like the sonar. Like I like how he's good with the sonar on the boat. Like that's kind of cool. I think we're gonna see more of him, but you know, bro, who on earth is calling you at one forty nine? It's Matt. Oh, oh, we can pause real quick if you need to answer. Oh, I guess. Yeah, call him. <laughs> answer. Yeah, no, nah, but Doctor Stone got some good ass characters. They yeah. got some great characters. They just have a a very broad roster but they're all pretty important they all have a different set of skills which is really dope yeah not that diverse though yeah yeah not at all but it is what it is um so something really not really but something cool happened a couple weeks ago y'all remember that cosplay conversation we had right yeah so i made a clip posted it on tiktok you know bait the racist of course Mm because i was like let me get these numbers up right yeah they didn't bite. They wasn't. That's surprising, yeah. honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Posted that bitch on YouTube. Yeah. They in this bitch. They in this bitch. You already know. Yeah. That's where they live. They live in the comment section of YouTube. Got some numbers off of that one. Yeah. We pulled some numbers off of that. You got the races in the YouTube, man. Yes, sir. That's that, where they that stay. That short did some numbers. That's where they stay. Yeah, see, because that's how you got to. Because you, look, you bait the racists. 
and then the non-racists start combating Combat, them, yeah. right? And then the non-racists stay, and the racists leave. It's the perfect formula. Still got double the engagement, though. So Exactly. So that really? was my goal on TikTok. I thought the racists were going to slide. The non-racists would combat. But it was just a couple non-racists, and then everybody moved on. It's cool. You know. Eh, it's a little something on TikTok. I needed the... Yeah, yeah. That was... If you want the fire to brew, you need... Racists. You need the YouTube racists. Exactly, bro. Like our Jake clip. Yeah. People still comment. The racists still be there. Yeah, that's where they live. Because they mad that I said Jake was black. They feed off that. They feed off the... What? There's no way that this character could be black. This is clearly a white character. People hate that, bro. Yeah. Like, racists <laughs> do not like it when you claim a character as black, bro. Yeah, like, it's just not any, like, skin color. Even you if there, Even if there is a skin color, if they not actually black, bro, like, let's keep it a stack, right? Darwin? I wasn't even going to say Darwin. Oh, Darwin's clearly black. Let's keep it a stack. Katara is a black woman. What? I mean, yeah, but how do we debate that? <laughs> because she's not actually. She's Asian. Ah, I guess, yeah. But Katara is black. Yeah. Kai is black. Yeah. Korra is black. Of course. Like In my mind, they're all black. Yeah, I couldn't... I I don't even really look at it the other way. I don't, they're just black, honestly. I Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Darwin, black. Bismuth in Garnet? Black. Uh. Jake? Eh, I think Jake is black. I think he Jake could is. be black. I think black. Jake could be black. Um. I feel like I'm missing. Obviously, Piccolo. We don't have to really debate oh, that. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh. Dark Shet? Nah. <laughs> Mina? Ashido? I never thought about it, but yeah. What? You didn't, you didn't know that? No, I just always just thought like Asian, but I, I see it now. Mina Ashido is clearly black. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Sato. I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Racist, but black. Super racist. Hero Killer Stain? Yeah. Nah. He feel a little black. What? No. <laughs> no. no, you don't get black vibes off the hero killer. No, say? he's just Japanese, just completely normal. Japanese. People claim Hawks is black, but I don't see it. No, yeah, people claim Hawks is a light skin. They say not Hawks even, give off light skin energy. Not even a little bit to me. I don't see it, but people say Hawks got light skin energy. I don't see that at all. I don't see that at all. Really? Not even a little bit. I see it. I see it a little bit. I don't. I don't really see that. Yeah, I don't see that. Oh, you kind of bugging. Nah, I don't see that. Uh, um, who's your favorite new gen MC? New gen MC. Yeah. Mm. I'm a big Shinra fan. I'm with that. Uh, bro, like, let's keep it a stack, right? And don't get me wrong. There's a lot of really cool heroes out there. Right? Yeah. When we're talking about a hero, Shinra is that, bro. He is a hero. That's what he says. Literally, call out into the night sky when you need help. Yeah. And I will be there. And he comes in with a cool, flashy intro and gets Boom. it done. That's yeah. a hero. Like, Deku. Deku's a hero. He's a hero, yeah. Lemillion. Hero, Asta, hero. But something about Shinra just literally screams hero. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. He's like, he, yeah, he's like the definition of a hero. It like, I, he's a hero. Like, that, that's, that's what a hero is. That whole fight with him and Rekka, that's a, that's a fight. That fight? is a, that's a fight. I don't know if I'll call that a fight. Like, what would you call it? Massacre. Yeah. That was he got bodied. He did get whooped pretty bad. He got bodied. That's that hypermobility, man. What hmm. What new gen anime got the best fights? Just the best fights. Or just what anime? What anime got the best fights? 
what anime has the best fights. Do I have to like actively watch this anime? No. I've seen some of the Boruto fights and they actually look pretty good. Boruto doesn't have the best fights. I've seen some of the Boruto. And they look really good. It does not have the best fights. No. I would personally I would put Boruto up there. Um hmm. best fights just in general. I ain't gonna God lie. of High School got some crazy fights. God of High School has some They got crazy amazing fights. fights. Gene Mori versus Dawe, amazing. Damn. Park versus Jin Mori, amazing. Yeah, you're right. They do. They do they have got some great fights. God of High School has some really good fights. I ain't gonna lie to you. They got some good fights. Um Jujutsu Kaisen got some gas fights. Fam. Panda, they throw hands in Panda JJK. Went dumb. Uh, bro, best of friend though. Oh, of course, Toto. They were in that bitch, putting hands, feet, and everything else on him. Uh, Nanami and Nanami. Itadori versus uh, why is his name escaping me? Uh, starts with an M. Yeah, it is not Megami. No, it's me. Fuck. Something with it. I don't M. think it's... Is it an M? It's an M. I don't know why I'm thinking H. No, it's definitely... Mahito. Mahito. Yeah. I see where you had the H in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Versus Mahito, bro. They was cooking. Yeah, they was whooping his ass. <laughs> yeah, JJK got some really good fights. Yeah, even... uh, Shit. Not Yuji, Maki? but the uh, other nigga. Not Yuji, but the other... Sukuna? No. Uh, Special class. Special class. Oh, uh, Toga? No, the special class. Oh, you talk about, uh, uh, not Yuji, but Yuta. Yuta. Yeah. Yeah, Yuta versus Ghetto. Yuta's fights, yeah, Yuta versus Ghetto was yeah. amazing. That was a great fight. Yeah, JJK got some hitters. Yeah, JJK might have had a, but I ain't gonna lie. Fire Force got some good ones too, though. Fire Force do got some good ones. They really be cooking. Yeah. Shinra versus Show. Great fight. Uh, Joker versus the world. <laughs> also a great Joker fight. and, um, Benny Maru. Maki and Tekyo versus the White Clad was actually really good to me. I like that. Nah, I like that one a lot. Um, you got Benny Maru in the moon oh. versus the demon. Yeah, of course. That one was super good. <laughs> uh, Demon versus Ogin. Oh shit, Ogin was cooking. That was a fire fight. The flamey ink is so hard. I love I like Ogin. He's just a dope character. I like Ogin because he's not racist. Yeah, yeah, he's just a cool black character. Like he's a cool black character. He looks cool. He powers aren't like racially <laughs> like, you know. I mean, they are to an extent, but like in a good way. I guess so. Yeah, I guess a little bit. Yeah. His right. powers the Yoruba Forge. Yeah. So, which is fire though. Yeah, That's that, hard. Yeah, it's just really cool. Yeah, Ogin, I like Ogin a lot. Yeah. I wish we could I want him to be company 8. Ogin might be He I feel like he's going to be a very close character to come. He might not be company 8, but he's going to be a very close character. Yeah, I like him a lot though. That's the goal. Yeah. I fuck with Ogin. Yeah. I, I think, like all of Company. I don't think there's anybody on Company 8 that I dislike. The Priestess. Uh, the pri- yeah. I don't yeah, I don't give a fuck about the well, Priestess, I bro. I don't give a damn about anybody the Priestess. Anybody that wears a jacket, I like. Um. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I like Luther. the Lieutenant a lot. Yeah. Man, he just be... When he pulled out the, the one-shot barrels, where he just... That was Blam fire. that bitch. He got to throw it away and get another one of the one shots. Oh, man. Yeah. Second He's gen goated. is actually, I would rather be a third gen, but second gen is actually kind of cool. Just being able to control fire. Well, third second gens, gen can also control fire. Yeah, I was about to say third gens can control it too. Yeah. Well, not really though. They create it more. That's what they do. Actually, no, they, I don't think they can control it. Yeah, they can. I think they do both. Nah. No, because Benny Marl's a compound. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so they only create it. Then, I don't know, man. Second gens might be better. Arthur got the plasma sword, man. That's crazy. 
Arthur is just so hard, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Shinra Thurgeons being able better. to like fly and stuff. Yeah, third gens are better. Third gens are without a doubt better. Yeah. You think we'll see a fourth gen? It's possible. What the fuck could they do? I don't know. I guess Benny Morrow kind of is one. Yeah, like combat. We might see more combat. Being able to maybe. do both is insane. Yeah, because he light them damn broomsticks yeah. on fire and just start sending them. Control them bitches. Oh yeah. man, the Tekio are hard too. I thought they yeah, were I stupid like the at first, but I like them now. Yeah, like sputter and flare as a regular like thing. I don't really care about, but the Tekio was just dope. Yeah, I like those. I like those a lot. Yeah. Um. But I think that's all I got for this episode. Unless you got something else you want to say or talk about. Uh, nah, I think that's just about it for me. All right, bet it up. It's it's pretty late over here, listeners. I know it's probably not that late wherever y'all are listening. Y'all are probably listening in the daytime. But it is currently 2 in the morning uh, where we are. Crazy. Yeah, I kind of uh prefer recording in the daytime. I agree. We used to record at night. It was before you joined the squad. Yeah. We used to record every week at 11 p.m. Sounds kind of goofy if I'm being real. Well, we would pull up at 11 p.m. We didn't go mics up until probably like 1 a.m. type shit. Yeah, that sounds goofy. We didn't have any other choice. We had to work around work schedules and and life and shit like that. Yeah, I guess that's true. But still, it just seems like it sucks. That's all. I liked it. I don't. I wouldn't. But it, I feel you. I liked it a lot back then. It it kind of worked. It worked well. Nah, I'd be tired. I wasn't. I get it because I mean you're uh, you're with your homies and you know y'all talking and stuff. But yeah, that's I, the I thing. Was... It's so fun. Like I'm not gonna lie. It's a little bit harder right now because it's just us two to bounce back off of. Yeah. But there was four of us. Honestly, I think that went better. I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult, but. Like, just two. It worked out better than I Oh, yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, we're good at this shit. Like, we're, you know what I'm saying? We're good at potting. We like anime. Like, it works perfectly. But when there's four people and you just really got everyone and you, it it feels perfectly normal. And then, you know, we would have, like, snacks and breaks and shit. Yeah. We had monsters in case of emergency. Uh, Was that, did I still drink monsters at that point? I think I might have still drank monsters back then. Yeah, I if I'm tired, the- if I'm tired, I will. I will definitely cop an energy drink. I can't do it, bro. Bro, I be high. I be dead. But they make my heart race, having heart palpitations. Yeah, but that's not good. <laughs> and it also they also make me angry. <laughs> like they make me like, I guess anxious. Yeah, like I just I just have a lot more energy. Yeah, like, because I remember my boss came up to me, and he kind of, like, he bugged out on me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't I didn't tweak back at him, but, like, he did that. And I went to my car on my 15, and I was in that bitch heated. Like, I was in my car just, like, just mad. Like, I was just <laughs> I upset. I drink that monster. <laughs> Bro, but for real, like, I was upset. And then I went and told HR. Like, I was sitting in the HR. Like, mm-hmm. like... Damn near snitching on this nigga. <laughs> and I was thinking about it. I was like, bro, what? Like, why did that make me so mad? And I was like, I drank a monster, a monster today. It. But then I started tracking, right? The last five arguments I had had. <laughs> were off a monster. Were on days I had had monsters, bro. Like, the last times I had. And like, once again, I never really got out of body with nobody. Yeah. But the, it's really hard to make me mad. Yeah. Like, I might get upset or bothered or, or annoyed, but when I'm actually like, like, I was pissed and I was like, wait a minute. I was mad this day and I had a monster that day. I was mad this day and I had a monster that day. I was mad. I was like, no, I'm done with these bitches, bro. Like, I'm not drinking them hoes because monsters are the source of all hatred. Just, bro, I don't know what it was, <laughs> bro, but mad. like, enraged off the monster just mad just genuinely upset Nah, when i drink a monster i'll just i'm just a little bit more anxious that's i just get energetic that's all yeah i don't know i'm not gonna tweak off nobody and they work too well they do yeah i don't like how well they work it make me nervous yeah 
Because I remember the first time I had a monster, I was working at Target, and I was so tired. Like, I was falling asleep moving. It's like after the first sip, I can almost, like, feel my eyes widen. Bro, I've never, like, being that tired is some new shit. I'm talking, like... I'm walking and in my head, all I hear is the do no no no. Like I could, <laughs> I could feel my body shutting down like a computer, bro. Like Just knock out, standing it, up. Is it crazy. felt like somebody hit the sign off button. And one of my coworkers was like, "Yo, you good?" I was like, "Bro, I'm just tired." He was like, "Bro, go get a monster." I was like, "I don't drink energy drinks." He was like, "I'll buy one for you." So he bought it, gave it to me. I took a sip, and probably like 15, 20 minutes go by before I realized I was like, "Wait a minute." I don't feel tired at all yeah it's it's a weird feel i was like i feel the, perfectly I'm and good. i had only had a sip at this point like i didn't i took one sip and just set it down and yeah. i was like i feel <laughs> perfectly normal yeah it, it's a weird feeling like after one sip, i can actually like feel myself wake up it's weird i don't like yeah that. i had one today and i like drank and i was like damn i'm, I'm good now I'm like i'm up it's so weird. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> How frequently do you drink those? Only when I'm like super tired for the, only on pod days, honestly. Okay. Like just, only when I like I am about to pass out on this couch. One a week is still too much though. Oh no. It's only when I'm super tired for the pod. Which is like every couple months. I just or maybe like once a month. Just keep them to a limit, because those are really bad for your heart. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, you don't you don't want those. Yeah, no, I don't drink them often at all. My boy Ouch used to drink one every morning, bro. That's that's excessive. Actually, when I was working at Target, I was drinking more than I probably was drinking like two, three a week. I thought you were about to say a day. Oh, I was like, no. bro, how are you not dead? No, two, three monsters a day is crazy. That would be out of body. Yeah, no, that's like pouring j- like rocket <laughs> fuel, fuel into your lawnmower. Bro. Like, nah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. Yeah, no, but two, three a week was still just too much for me, bro. Like, you just yeah. shouldn't be drinking that much Monster. You know what I've never had that I'm never going to try? But a five-hour energy, you ever had one of them? I couldn't imagine what that would do to your body. Because that bitch is little. You just take a shot. It's a and shot, just... and you just... Oh my gosh, that, that would like scare me. I don't my, think, like, I'm tensing up yeah, thinking like, about I it. I don't think I could drink one of those and just be okay. I would have, Ugh. the only way I would drink one of those if, is if I was almost in like critical condition. Like that seems like <laughs> something that you could just like, <laughs> and wake somebody Clear. up. Yeah. You like, just give them a shot of five hour energy. Five hour energy. And energy <gasps> and they, like that's <laughs> how I feel like a five hour energy would feel. Yeah. That shit kind of listeners. If y'all have ever had a five hour energy, let me know what that shit is like. Yeah. Cause, Cause I do five it, hours and it's a little, it's just like a shot. Did you just, cause a monster is a you whole can. A can. Yeah. You can get like a decent. Can and how long that. that lasts? Probably like two hours, three hours. Yeah, yeah, five hours off the shot. Yeah, that's crazy. That's dangerous. I couldn't. I don't even. I could only imagine what they put in that. Like, no, you. The problem is, you can't imagine <laughs> what they put in that. There's no way you know those words. Just, boom. That's wild. Yeah, that scares me. Yeah, I. I don't think I could. I even even if I was about to like die, I don't think I could take a five hour. That would actually scare me. Do they even have a fl- like flavor? I think it red. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like, think they I don't, have like flavor. I don't know. I think that bitch just five hours. Like it just <laughs> tastes like time. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, that bitch just tastes like energy. <laughs> it's, it tastes like my fourth hour. Like yeah, that shit I'm is still a up. Battery acid. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I can't do it. I don't it. think I could do that. I can't do it. That yeah. would actually scare me. I'll pass on that, but all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for listening. We have really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I'm tired, but it was, it was fun to do. It was I, worth it. Yeah. I'm like, it was actually pretty cool. Yeah. It was, see, like, that's the thing, right? As a podcaster, I've had a, not just as a podcaster, as a human, I've had a lot of moments where I had the opportunity to fold, right? Yeah. And every single time I don't fold, I always finish and I'm like, it was worth it. Like, I've never once been like, damn, wish I folded. 
Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, have you ever walked out of the other side of a situation like, ah, wish I would have gave up? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I can't think of any scenarios which I was like, ah. That's surprising. I probably have one. I probably got a couple. I can't There are definitely any. instances where I did something. I was like, God, I wish I didn't do that. No, that's different, like, though. Doing something that you regret is different than being in a situation of where you could fold for some shit you want. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, we all have regrets. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I wish I didn't spend $15 on a meal. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's all things we regret. But when I'm saying all some shit where it's like, hey, like, I this know. This bettered my life. Right. And like, I, it was like, nah, I shouldn't have done that. I yeah. Should've, I should have went to sleep. Yeah, like, like I should have went to bed instead of editing yeah, that I should, video. I should have played a game. Yeah, right? I, I wish I would have gone out to dinner instead of. And like sometimes you're like, ah, oh, damn, like I could have slept an extra hour. Or blah, yeah, like blah, two blah. things that would better my life, so, and I have to pick one. Yeah, if it's two things, then yeah. yeah. But if it's like, hey, watch TV or go to the gym, I'm I always leave the gym like I'm glad I'm I went to the I gym today. Yeah. I always finish editing. I'm like, I'm glad I got that done. Or recording. I'm like, yes, it's midnight and I'm tired, but like. It was worth it. Yeah. Especially since y'all gonna run the views up on this episode. Yeah, so, for real. Appreciate y'all for that. Yeah, thank Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all in advance. Yeah, I, I I believe in y'all on this one. Last week's episode did really well. So That's what's up. Yeah, it, it's it's still moving. It's still going up. I think it's at like four, maybe even 5,000 views. Oh, so this should, this should get like double that. We cool. Oh yeah, this one gonna get like 10, 15. Yeah. 10, 15 cool. first week. You know what I'm saying? We cool then. Yeah, it's at about 4,000 views last week's episode. Hey. 4,000 views in five days. That's fire. 4,000 views in five days is like. That's super good. You know what I'm saying? People don't, people don't do it like this, bro. Respect on our name. Yeah, no, we actually out here for real. And our old episodes are also just getting traction, which is crazy. You know how we do. Like, um, what's this episode called? Got that dog in him? <laughs> that shit's going up and that shit got posted. I don't even know when, bro. Like, that shit got posted a long ass time ago. Man. And it's lit. So, yeah. I mean, ever since we started to, well, we do like weekly anime. Cause I was thinking like, it's all like evergreen content. Like, you can really run it up whenever. But well, like a lot of it is evergreen though. Like yeah. some of it is weekly, but even a lot of the time we just shit, be vibing sometimes. So like, yeah, and even the weekly shit is still evergreen to an extent because it's not like the anime expires. Yeah, like you can still go back and hear about an old episode and be like, oh, okay, like yeah. I remember this. And people watch it at different times too. So like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's it actually work out kind of perfect because like let's say you're watching binging it. A, like a series later on like you can literally type in the episode you're on if you go to like the storm podcast page and type in like uh my hero academia season six episode five it'll literally pull up because it's all in the descriptions yeah so it'll literally pull up that podcast episode and you can literally click where we were talking about my hero academia season six episode five yeah honestly that's perfect that's yeah, kind of fire. it's hell to do. Like, yeah, I could imagine for me to do the timestamps. That's my least favorite part of the podcast. Yeah, that's gotta suck. Editing, cool. Cover art, cool. Recording, cool. The least favorite part. Clips, cool. Least favorite part is doing the timestamps. That shit is annoying. Yeah, because I guess you got to go through like the whole podcast to do it. Yes, and then I also don't be remembering the episode numbers, so then I gotta look and be like, oh, what episode was this? Oh, season six, episode five. Oh, season four, episode... Like, yeah. that shit is... It, it gets annoying. I can see how that'd be annoying. Yeah, yeah it gets annoying. And it's, sometimes it's hard to think of the title of the episode, too. Well, wouldn't you just do it when you do the season six? Like, you just look at the title. No, I'm saying the title of our oh, podcast of episode. The, oh, Because okay. I'd be like, fuck, what am I gonna name this bitch? So, yeah, yeah it's, I see it's what difficult. you mean. It is difficult, but... All right, we said it like twice. We're going to get out of here. Thank y'all so much for listening. If you have not already subscribed, what are you doing? You watched the whole episode. You clearly enjoyed it. Come on, so, bro. yeah, please hit that sub button. We appreciate it. Leave us a comment and come pull up to the Discord. The Discord is a fuck ton of fun. We talk about anime. We talk about games. We talk about movies, uh, music, life, just everything in there. So pull up to the Discord. The link is in the bio. Um, and we will catch y'all next week. We all peace. Hopefully not at 
midnight. But you know, we'll catch you next week. Yeah.